he was hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he was supposed to have breakfast. I mean, he got me up at 11, 10, right. 9, 30 in the morning. That's what she said. She's like, damn, I should have got me some hot chocolate. Right, I mean, man, I, I, I mean, I left a little I said late. Mike, though, nigga. You did I, say I, Mike. I didn't say but I, for but sure. But it was so early, though. I just knew it was going to be here. The way you was, you said it like, what, that 7 be, o'clock yesterday? That shit's going to be fire, too, dog. Mm. I was waiting, man. God yeah, damn. man. I had to just pull up after work, man. Might have to do that. God damn, gotta go back to work. What episode is this? <laughs> Ninety episode. This is yeah. So let me. This is another episode of New Power Flow Podcast, episode ninety. Oh my god! First episode of the new year, one more twenty one. Uh, shout out to everybody. Hope all our listeners made it to the new year. I hope none of our listeners was at that damn party I saw. What party did that? you see at? In Atlanta? No, nah, it was. I think it was here. Niggas was shoulder to shoulder. Yeah, no they mask. don't care nothing about Corona. Oh, uh, yeah. He was out there. Nigga, they say Atlanta running out of ICU beds. Huh? Oh, is it getting bad? Yeah. yeah. Dog, what? It's getting it been. For real? Mm-hmm. They ain't got no rules. Yeah, a little travel group, I mean, I seen a nigga. I don't care uh, about nothing. Some nigga posted, uh, uh, he was like, man, what, what's up doing in Atlanta? This is like three weeks ago. And dude delivered, he was like, uh, just pull up, bro. He's like, we got plenty of ICU beds for you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so it's Steve and Vern as usual. We got a special guest today. We've been trying to get, uh, I've been trying to get her on the podcast for about two years. Yeah, what happened? Why I seen you? her on another podcast. And I was like, God damn! What? Like, oh, so you done a podcast? So are y'all gonna jump me or what? I don't know. We not yet. Okay, <laughs> that comes later. <laughs> <Yeah. Okay. laughs> uh, you who is it, Steve? <laughs> who, who is it? The special guest, nigga. <laughs> oh, you want me call you, you want me call you your real name or your IG name? Oh no, you can call me by my real name or okay. my IG name. It Portia, doesn't matter if you AKA, want to. Do AKA uh, lipstick mother on IG, right? Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. Never caught without my lipstick. I don't. So, so, so Steve, when she you say you've been trying to get on the podcast for two years, you seen her on another podcast. <laughs> you see her on another podcast after trying to get her on this one. Yeah, it was just like two weeks ago. For real, oh, for real, oh, yeah. so you want to? Nigga, run. I sent it to you. I think I sent you the clip. He was I, like, "I, I word. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's how you gonna treat us?" Nah, okay. I sent it to him. I was like, "Bro, I ain't never heard of them." Sure. I, but I was like, "This is Portia, who I've been trying to get on the podcast like a year and a half." Mm-hmm. So you was on the media run. Was that? Is this your first? Is this your second time doing a podcast? No, I've done a few. Why you acted like that, did? <laughs> no, I wasn't <laughs> acting like anything. Is, I is, am really a catch me at the right time kind of person. Like, and my memory is terrible. Like, you don't know that I forgot about this every single day that I've agreed to today mm-hmm. huh? until uh, literally last I night I asked when you I went to sleep. One time you was like, I think you went out or something. No, nah, like, she's saying, she saying, when did you ask her to come on? Today. You, the first time? I don't know. Today. No, today. today. This episode. I didn't forgot like about it. So, I didn't so, forgot so, about so, it. But I told her I was going to hit up and, and, uh, like, the beginning of this, this week, and I did. Remember I say remind me yeah. Because I she really have forgetting. forgotten Every single time and I'm like Wow Wow mm-hmm. okay. But I'm here Hey That's the important part Front and center mm-hmm. I'm ready Yes sir Go, uh, So uh, But if y'all jump me year? I won't be back My new uh, year was great <laughs> You just plan on not going back Did you go out? <laughs> 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 you go out? <laughs> no I went to a little House, Get little together. very small house, little situation, and that's how people try to make you'll it. Go like, you, you'll, you'll you don't go out in the, in the pandemic. No, no, no. Pe- I'm really scared. I ain't gonna say I haven't. I have, but I'm I'm in there the whole time. Like, oh god, my people baby ain't making- never been sick. Lord, <laughs> I'm gonna be the one to bring it oh, to him, and he gonna be man. on his deathbed. So no, I'm really scared. I really am scared. People try to make you feel like shit for like going out to eat and shit. Nah, I goes out to eat. Y'all got yeah. me f- I still twisted. do that. I still yeah. do that. I go out to eat. I ain't going to no party or no shit like that. Yeah, I don't want to go to no clubs. What is what like is Mike is about- down in he been in Atlanta and Miami. Don't I'm a I went to Miami in, in, in August, but we literally <laughs> But we really didn't interact with any other people. Nah, that nigga been at the Clevelander. Nah, I don't want to go. That nigga been. Uh, he was in K- KOD last night. Okay, what? that's weird behavior. Nah, see? Nah, nah, that's what he he do that though. That's mm-hmm. my nigga. I love like, him. The people he that already, can't sit still are it. weird to me. Yeah, he done had it too. So. Oh, see, and then those people have a different mindset. Like, oh, we had this. Well, what about the other people that you're gonna infect that can't get over it the way you did? But my thing with, with what you just said though is, what about what's this with the small groups though? Like, all it takes is one person to have it. It definitely takes because he uh, caught it playing basketball. 
Okay, that, that makes a whole seven, lot of sense. Seven, that makes completely nah, good yeah, sense. You know. Seven out of the eleven people that was playing had it. That I day. believe that had it that they day. Caught it, they caught it, caught it from it. that one person. Say, they was out there playing a whole um, different game. <laughs> now again, I am scared, but I feel like I was in the house for so long, I was going crazy. Mm-hmm. So I did kind of start being like, "Well, I can go to such and such house," and you know, granted, it's still a risk. It's still a risk, but it's a smaller risk. It's then. a smaller risk than being. In the club, in the strip clubs, and yeah, that's playing the worst thing with me. With you know, <clears throat> going to like people's cribs like that, you don't really know where motherfuckers been. Where they done been? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I completely agree, yeah, but so. I'm guilty. I went to that little house thing. How much you be putting on social media? You be like, I'm out. Huh? You, you like, like, like? Do you take a picture of your outfit before you go somewhere and shit like I, that? Um, not before I go somewhere, but um, because if I, you follow me on Instagram, you'll know I'm really, I really do that outfit shit. So mm. you're definitely gonna see what I had on. I'm gonna look I, I, if I see that. If I, I see that shit, I'm like she about to get COVID. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm damn, not. damn. She been flying three days in a row. She ready to get COVID. No, no. I really do. I style people, oh, okay, so I have right. to put clothes on when I leave here. I got my you dig on. I'm gonna have to, you mm. know, take my. I mean, I don't know. Right now, you look like a big Mary J. Blige fan. <laughs> <laughs> he's really he's no. on his worst behavior today. Okay. No, no, no. Okay, I'm, just okay. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm, I'm just about playing. to start doing my. No. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Shit. Be ready. No, but, uh, my bad. My bad. Yeah, Vern, before you pulled up, uh, me and Portia was talking. And I was telling her how I was uh, a few nights ago. Uh, Kira was over here. Kira mm-hmm. and one of her own girls. And we was talking about some shit. And then we got on the subject of uh, shrimp. Shrimp. Yeah. Shrimp. It was a group. Y'all was talking about a, shrimp. No. No. Shrimps. Shrimp dicks. Don't want oh. short, it was short some man. Shit, yeah. Okay. It was a group chat or something. And somebody told one of the dudes in there that he had a shrimp or something. And mm-hmm. they were talking about how he <laughs> didn't defend it. But Hold on, there's a group chat girl was of, with, with men and women? Yeah. Okay, that's a whole they other let topic. Let me in right there. That's a whole other topic. <laughs> I, <laughs> but, I don't know of any group chats but, that got men and women in them. But I had to ask I them. Was, that's lit. <laughs> right. <laughs> I had to ask them, like, what is the definition of a shrimp? Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, they gave me two different answers. Ah, see, man, it's subjective. It's subjective. That's what I so, said. So, old girl held up the, the remote to the TV. And was like, how one? big? The remote to the TV. Oh, okay. She was like, how big is this? And Kira uh, goes, that's about an eight. And then she was like, you got a ruler? And uh, I was like, yeah. So I got the tape. <laughs> and I measured it. And it was eight. And I said, damn, Kira, no eight when she see it. Dang, she got calibrated eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, she know eight when she see it. But so Kira said, all right, so Kira said six inches is a shrimp. Oh, she tripping. <laughs> <laughs> You must have a six inch. No, However, I'm just, I'm just saying, I mean, I you know, shrimp though. For me, I don't want no six inch dick. Like it's not nothing I can do with that. Like I, I can't, bro. Okay, I, I just can't. For real? Yeah, no. I'm gonna need eight, nine, ten, eleven. I Whoa! Can't, I can't do six. I she can't. Need Lexington steel. <laughs> I mean, I just feel like ugh, no. Ugh, I can't even feel it. For real? It's places that you ain't never going to get to with six inches. No. Okay. place you need to get to is supposed to be four inches, though. Okay, no. Because I, I like to, you know, to take my breath away a few you, times. Okay. And, and I, I you that. can't do that with six inches. It's just well, not going to happen. That's what, so, Kira was like, that's a shrimp. Oh, girl was like, it wasn't. What? The other, her friend was like. That's why I said it's subjective, yeah. But it also depends on what, let me say how I'm trying to say that. What... You're going after when you have sex. Most people are going for an orgasm. I do not. You go for pain? Mm. <laughs> a little bit of pain, yeah. A little bit of um, pain? Because I don't allow myself to orgasm. Huh? I do not. Why? Not from the G spot. Oh. Clitoral, yeah. Okay. G spot, it's not going to happen, bro. You just say, you, how you mean, what you mean you don't allow yourself to? I don't. To? As soon as you get to tapping on that spot, I'm going to shift them hips real quick. Woo, whoa, 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 whoa. Why? Cause I don't want that to happen. Why? I just don't like it. Nah. I like to be in control of the situation. Nah. And before, I'm not about to be nowhere hollering, screaming, shaking, and shit. Nah, I'm, crying. I'm not doing that. No. Why? Why? Because I'm a fucking player. Well, that's why. Like, you God. Know, God. No. no. Yeah. Steve, you know, you know what she's trying to say. You know what she's trying to say, dog. What's she trying to say? 
we just before we cut these mics on. She's like, I don't get attached to people, the emotion. With yeah, I don't have time. Da, 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 da. I don't want to yeah, do nah, that. She knows. She knows. As soon as nigga, if especially nigga bringing that lap. <laughs> <laughs> nigga yeah, bring that eleven. I, like the few times that I have, I didn't like. And nigga brought that eleven. She almost fell in love. I'm not. She almost fell in love. She hit that. He hit that. No, hit that because PlayStation my heart power is not button. in my vagina. Huh? My heart is yeah. not in my vagina. Then, no, why, then let no, him no, tap no. that thing. I just don't want to with that eleven that. for no reason. I just reason. don't want to release that type of control. Nah, that's why. I just don't want to. Just don't want because to. Because I'm a very controlling person. Nah, I know. I know. So everything for you, eight and under, is a shrimp. No, I didn't say eight and under is a shrimp, but six I'm not doing. She ain't doing. Oh, she ain't wrestling with the six. So what? So shrimp is a so you, six, you, six. you 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 with Kira? I'm so. just saying that six is not gonna happen over Kira here. Kira says six is a shrimp. Yeah, we need to bring her back on. The yeah, part. six. You <laughs> six fr- is small. She said ill. No, nah, her friend was like, her friend was like, six is good for her. But she you was know like, what? my dildo's different, eight, and she was like, I don't like that shit. Different like size that. women well, like different size in, penises. Never mind. Yeah, I, like it's she subjective. Was, she was how tall are you? I'm five foot even. Why does that matter? No, I'm just out no. of curiosity. <laughs> Bro, she just said different size women like different size shit. Oh, is that what she so, did say? That? Oh, girl, Kira's friends like five one, five two. That's why I just asked how, how tall she was. Oh, how tall okay. is Kira? Kira's she's short. probably yeah, she's probably five four. Probably but Kira's that. thicker though. So she, but Most, old girl was like my girl was skinnier. Friends, she was skinnier. My heavier friends do not like big dicks. For real. Mm-hmm. They're like, oh no, girl! Look I'm at like, him. look at him. Now I got a high and sound like a siren. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't, but you know, and my smaller friends, what like bigger dicks? Okay, all right. <laughs> I ain't got yeah. nothing. I ain't got much for this, man. <laughs> I mean, it was just, a, it was just interesting to me. It's, it's like, I like, old girl was like, nah, I don't, I don't want no eights or nothing like that. No, uh, Kira was like, eight is average. She was like, speak. She well, was six like, is technically average. Yeah, six is average. That's what we I was just, saying. We was just like, went over average, average last week, dog. Hmm? Average last week, statistically. Average. Statistically, is six. Five point five. That's bullshit. Who drive millennium? Talk about not, the Benjamins. Uh, yeah, what? You did say that. That's yeah. terrible. All right. I will instantly stop talking to a guy. All right. Like, I mean, don't call me. You do you uh, do you deal outside of your race? I do. I okay. have dealt with the white guy before. He had the eleven. He didn't have the eleven. He had about eight. Okay. All right. All right. I, oh, I'm just saying. I don't know. That's definitely a myth. And I've been think, with more black men, and goddamn, they stopped growing. Okay. All right. Only your nose and ears keep growing. Everything else stop. Okay. Well, I don't got time for that. You ain't got time <laughs> for the stoppage. I don't got time for that. That's I need a, a no, grower. <laughs> yeah, I like a grower. Damn, nah, that sucked, nah. the, the the position men are in, dog, nah, you ain't got no control over that shit, man. Like at least y'all can pop some kegels and shit. Like nigga can't do nothing, man. Nigga can try to have ankle weight around his dick or something. Nah, no, there's somebody for everyone. Some girls, some girls like little ones. Some girls like little ones. Nah. Yes, you they do. Girls, I mean, old girl, do. old girl said six was good for her. See, but but at the same time, when she's like a little dick ass nigga, <laughs> <laughs> when, she's, when she get mad, that's what she's gonna say. Hey, yeah, you probably right. She probably like it. she probably want a little small penis so she could you know go crazy she, on the yeah, nigga when she get mad she at him, or she wants a little small one so she can do what you know do what she does without no complications. Well, she like means? she what said she had an eight inch dildo. On it was too much for. Not have to you know take okay. a breath away yeah. or yeah, she can bend her back. No yeah, she can back. spin okay. around on the dick or something. I don't spin know. Spin around, okay. Like Kira yeah, was that saying, does, that does happen. Kira said like she said she don't want both. What do you mean? What's both? What does that mean? Uh, she don't want like a nigga with a ten inch dick and six and a half inches of girth. She don't want that. Jesus she like the Christ. bigger you go up, you got to go down in, in girth. What the hell? Yeah, I don't want a pencil, but um, Jesus Christ, man, this is like PVC pipe. Like it's like I sound like I feel like I'm walking down the aisle at Lowe's right now. <laughs> yeah, like I don't know. Like I had a short, fat one before, and I was miserable. I was like, oh, this is terrible. I feel so ugh. It just wasn't it didn't okay. work. All right. So really, really, hmm, hmm, hmm. Mm. I don't, yeah, she was. What yeah. the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kira's just like, nah. You, it got yeah, yeah, nah. to be some uh, give, like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? She's yeah, willing to sacrifice. She's big willing to sacrifice inside of him. Yeah. Yeah. Because like, old girl was talking about. She seen something like a porno or something. And she <laughs> she was like, dude, shit was massive and shit. 
And uh, like he couldn't even put it in all the way, but it was a point where he like did like ram it in her, and she was like, "That nigga should have been arrested for assault." Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but I mean, it can fit. A baby can come out of it, so it can fit. No, I mean, for man, sure. But yeah, I don't know how that's enjoyable, enjoyable for a whole you just gotta session relax. of sex. You just gotta relax. I've never seen nobody. I, I've my it's girl all gave about birth relaxing. twice, and it didn't look like she was enjoying either time. Oh, she didn't get no epidural, nothing. No, she was. She got the epidural. She still oh. was not enjoying it. Oh. I mean, I didn't enjoy it, but by the time that epidural kicked in, come on through here, little baby. Okay. I Get mean, on out of there. Yeah. I done had enough. Yeah. She tried to do the, the whole, like, no epidural thing. I never tried it. I think that's and, crazy. And then, you know, she ended up asking for it. Yeah, I, it, it is a, it's a unbearable. Yeah, you would never it. do a water, baby? No, I'm not doing that. Like That shit look like a beast. Like, I don't need to, like, have a baby natural to prove I'm a woman. I'm a whole woman. A baby came through this motherfucker. No. That, Give yeah. me some medicine. What, what you got to prove you're a woman? Yeah, like, like, what is that? Yeah, like. I mean, I until they put it natural. in the Olympics. They have put, you, put it in the have Olympics. Have you seen a water delivery? Yeah, I've seen them. Like, the nigga sitting in the tub and shit, and shit yeah. with them? Yeah. yeah. I can't imagine the water making Not it feel nigga any better. In the tub with them. I ain't never seen that. Nah, yeah, they, 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 they be sitting in the water yeah, in the pool. Do it. No, no nigga, see. they be sitting in the water with them. Yeah, bro. they sitting in the water. Like the man shit. will be the one to pull the motherfucker yeah. out. Yeah, oh, they doing that shit dolo. That's some old love. Nah, stuff. people's there, that's but weird, yeah, that shit's nah, bro. I don't think I can do it. All that shit was in the water and shit. I could Why you get a shower? They could barely do the childbirth. <laughs> nigga, the, the way that it was. Uh, so, because nigga, the, you the, afraid of the stuff that comes out? Yeah. No, so you I'm don't just saying. Nigga said he wouldn't nasty. catch the he catch the baby. He ain't catching the sack. The little shit that come out after the baby. He's like, get me over here. You gonna take the baby and go? <laughs> he gonna jump yeah, out real quick with the baby shit, shit, still attached. Ain't cut the umbilical cord or nothing. That shit just looked crazy, dog. It, it, it shit. The nigga. whole thing the, is the crazy. Way, don't worry, don't it's crazy. It's crazy. It's like sick. the science behind it, I don't understand how the fucking baby ain't drowning, nigga. Like in the sack. No, in, in the water. They ain't gonna drown in the water because then the sack is water. I yeah. think it's true. Did they you, already in there you know in that, water. Like they say, like that's the best time to teach a baby to swim and shit mm-hmm. too. Yeah, yeah I'll be saying that. Yeah, they be throw, fucking floating. You see, you see that, float. that crazy ass video where they the the girl took the baby's like like maybe nine to twelve months and just and threw, just it threw it the baby. In the pool. Yeah, 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 I'm not doing swimming. that shit, sweet. Nah, I'm not doing that. Yeah, yeah I'll be saying that. Be like, <laughs> no, <laughs> my nerves are far too bad. No, 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 no. Yeah, not my baby. We doing that. We doing that. We know that's Caucasian people. Hmm? What? Are you on that? Okay. I mean, it, it was Caucasian people. I don't know if we have a Caucasian audience, so it's okay. <laughs> this this podcast is for us. Oh, <laughs> what if what if I'm part Caucasian? You don't seem to be. Hmm. What's that on your tube? What is that? The jewel, the jewel thing that people be getting. What is that? What is that? I, I never seen that before. Like a rhinestone or something. Yeah, it's like a rhinestone. It, is it? It ain't permanent either. It's on there. It's on there for a while. Yes, yeah, but there it ain't for permanent. No. What it tastes like? It tastes like that. I'm, I my tongue's it. behind the teeth. Okay, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> she said my tongue's behind the teeth. <laughs> what do you think is going on here? I mean, I don't know shit. I don't know. Oh, okay. I ain't never seen this shit before. You haven't? No, I ain't never seen it. Hey, she uh, she was coaching me too, dog. For you, coaching you on what? What? She said I can't be messing with females and doing boyfriend shit. Absolutely not. That's all they want, though. In order for in order for him, do you want me to do this? Yes, I <laughs> because, do. I because, want. Because, I'm ready. Look, 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 Let's no, go. no, no, because on. now I just got Let's this man. This. In, I just got this man in trouble earlier this week. Maybe oh, well, not. Maybe he, not necessarily trouble, he's but I can't. In trouble, I can't so speak go. for him. Yeah, but apparently you do. I, I, I unintentionally. I don't know. I. I'm I'm a nigga. I'm still confused by that. I'm the nigga in the podcast Tell me. I know. I got who's the been in a relationship for X amount of time. I got a single friend who I talk to every single day. So. I feel like I understand single men and women because I talk to him so much. Okay. So I can't. So I guess separating it from Steeg, men who casually date women who's casually dating have to understand that women want relationship type shit. No, women In want a relationship. Mm. And what most women do is settle, They'll settle yes. for whatever you're giving them because they haven't gotten to a place where they can say, uh, this doesn't work for me and I'm going to walk away from it. No, they're going to take what you dish out. I've been there mm. many a times in my life. I'm going to be completely honest and say this is the first year of my life that I have put my foot down and said, I love you, but I don't love you more than I love myself. 
I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> And I'm leaving you your ass alone. Like, wh- what you're giving me is not enough. Right. Nigga wasn't worth your tears. It, yeah. And bye. Mm. <laughs> Holla. See, you wouldn't want to be you. Damn. And and it's simple. But, you know. So, did um, you want. So, so you stated your age, I think, before we turned them 36. on. 36. So. Oh, okay. I ain't want to do that to you. I'm not ashamed of my age. Okay, good. That's good. That's good. Did you did have. Has there ever been a point where you wanted something that looked like a relationship? Like you, I'm okay if the shit just looked like he's my boyfriend. Yeah. I don't really want the, I don't really, I don't really need the title. I really haven't even been in a situation where anything looked like he was my boyfriend. It looked like exactly how he presented it to me, and I psyched myself the fuck up. Not for you. I don't think women. I, that's the other thing that that we got to be honest with ourselves about. Women don't want a relationship to look like a relationship to them. They want it to look like a relationship for their homies. Okay, that's a weird no. Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. Yeah. Not, not to think, you. You're 36. I do, I do think we are in a time where people want things because <clears throat> social media or their peers mm-hmm. tell them this is what they should be having or getting out of a thing. Like, okay, here's a prime example. I have friends who know how to get money out of a man. That's I, what we got to start watching out for. I <laughs> do not know how to get money out of a man. You don't know how? Mm-mm. So I'm gonna tell you when why. I had these friends, they really started to make me feel like who I was wasn't shit hmm? or what I was offering a man wasn't nothing because he's not giving me any money. I had a friend who knew a guy for seven days. She dated a guy for seven days prior to her birthday. And at her birthday dinner, he hands her a card and she opens it and she throws it on the table. And we was all like, Ooh. She said, what the fuck is this? He gave her a thousand dollars. You looking at somebody who ain't got no thousand dollars out of a man before. So, um, so was she mad? She was pissed. Yeah, seven. Th- I guess why? Okay, explain she, why she was she pissed. She said, you should have at least given me four thousand dollars. God. At the least. And so keep in mind when you when you have those types of friends, you start to look at she got a thousand dollars after seven days. She's gotten this. She's gotten that. I must not be about nothing. If I gave if I gave a girl a thousand dollars and she said it should at least been four, I'm taking my thousand dollars back. He didn't have the heart to do that. But I think. um, So, yeah, I say that to say you do. Start basing your relationships off of what's going on around you. And I have finally gotten to a place where, you know what? That very same man that gave you $1,000 and may give you $4,000 may not give a fuck about you. Mm -hmm. Because $4,000 to a man who's got a million dollars ain't Ain't nothing. But $4,000 to a man who's going to work hard for his money and that, you know, he saved up all year to get you something nice. That means every damn thing. You Mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So I have had to step outside of myself as a woman and say, what you got out of a man and what I got out of a man is two different things. And every man is different. Every relationship is different. Um, now, if I meet a guy who sells drugs, I want some money. I was going to ask you, like, what was dude's occupation? He probably was a drug dealer. Yeah. Uh, was your friend shit or is your friend not shit? Be, be, be honest. Is this the one that's going to listen? Hey, girl. How you doing? <laughs> we talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> to be completely honest, if we're going off of the standards of the type of woman I am, she's not shit. She's shallow. So, but that's what they're paying for. That's what a lot of people are paying for. A lot of men are paying for a shallow woman. A lot of women, a lot of men are paying for a woman who only wants their money, don't care whether they coming or going, don't give a shit about them. They're going to leave if the bag run out. And that's just how the game goes. I got beef with what you just said, though. What? Why are you addressing the men instead of the women? I, I, I didn't finish. Okay. A, lot of, a lot of females are chasing shallow men. A lot of females. How are, you talk about women and then you still go? I said the men are chasing it? shallow women okay. and the women are chasing shallow men and they yeah. attract each other. He wants something that you have, which is your body. You look like a bad bitch. He already knows that you've dealt with guys who got money. So he feels like now he's at a position where he can afford you. Mm-hmm. He's purchasing you for okay. the look. Okay. Yeah. And guess what? She's doing the same thing. That's You know what? I'm going to get attached myself to this dude with the money. So when 
this doesn't work out, I can move on to the next dude with the money. Jesus and it's just the process. It's just the process. It's just the See, process. That, it how it goes. I said that before. I ain't know these people. I've said that before, they not how she said it, exist. but like a lot of these niggas with money, like. Outside of their money, they don't. They don't, they don't even have a personality. That's like, what I'm saying. Yeah, and they I, just use their money. Like, yeah, I know somebody that uses their money. I know plenty of guys want. who use that. I, you know, and the nigga, my second child's father is what people call a broke ass nigga. I've had dudes be like, "She had a baby by that broke ass nigga. Don't want fuck me." I didn't know I had to. I didn't know that I owed you some pussy. Like, Dang. who knew? <laughs> like, who knew? I've been trying to talk to her for years. Who knew that I yeah. owed it to you because you got some money? Did you? Like, I didn't even know that niggas, that's how niggas, it went. Niggas, feel, what, what, niggas, what niggas like that feel entitled to your body. They feel you, entitled. They really feel entitled. Yeah. That's and they feel like they ain't got to do shit to get it, but get, show some bread. Show some bread. And you know, I have a, a sibling of mine. And she knows who she is. And she likes rappers and and drug dealers. And, and I keep saying, well, why do you like these guys you don't get nothing out of them? Because if you're chasing the bag, the point is to get in the bag, right? No, the status needs to be next to it. No, 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 no. What is I, I see, I see, I man, I seen a diss or that. I don't know. But nah, be... like what she just said. I seen, you know that little diss or that thing mm-hmm. everybody keep doing? I seen some chicks do it the other day. And it looked like, I can't remember what the other one was. Doctor, but probably. the other one was literally rapper slash drug dealer. And they both went to the, you know, they was playing, and they, they both like went that. To, they like that status. That's what I just I said. But they in the club though. They like, like I don't want to be, be next to that status. I don't want to be next to you if I'm still going to be struggling. I have two fucking kids to take care of. If you got the money and I'm over here just living a regular life, barely making it or living check to check, and you got it, you flossing. And you not putting me in a position. I'm not saying just hand me bags or, you know, just yeah. money to fuck fuck off. But if you give a fuck about me, then you will put me in a position to win. Just like a woman, if I give a damn about you, I'm gonna put you in a position to win mm-hmm. I, as but, a woman. But I think I think I think that uh these women probably just got more patience than you. They think that they think, okay, what I do put you think my, it's gonna happen. I put I put myself Next to these people that that has this kind of status or whatever, eventually what I want is gonna fall in my lap. It's not. They just got more patience than you. No, because I'm not I, saying it is. Or I, it isn't. I told I her. Know. I said, you know, you want to be one of these girls, these Instagram girls, because you're so beautiful. Oh gosh, she's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Um, but the difference between you and these other beautiful girls on Instagram, they get into the money. Mm-hmm. And the reason why this rapper dude who keeps coming fucking on you for free is because he knows you don't know no better. <laughs> He knows that you don't know any better. Mm-hmm. He knows that you don't know how to ask for mm-hmm. anything. So he going to keep on. They ain't going to buy the calf. They getting it for free. But I was going to ask, like, how how does she go about getting money out of people? Then? She doesn't. But, she doesn't get a dime. You don't know either, though, do you? How do, how do you get money? Because you said. I don't. Um, well, I've recently started getting some money. Okay, however, girl. Okay. However. <laughs> however. No, no, but it's not no finesse. I even said, you know, I don't want no more of your money. Like, I feel like at this point, I owe you like eight pieces of pussy and I'm all right. And I'm not going to do it. And she ain't going to let the nigga hit it how he He's wants to. He's not going to touch me at all, ever. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, He's God. never going to touch me. Damn. But, so he's a sugar daddy. I feel like I feel <laughs> like sixty four years old. I feel like I'm a different type of woman. Like I feel like if you can give me what I need and what I require, it's not about the money. Now I do want a man that has enough money that can stand on his own two feet. Like okay. I'm not your mama. I don't want to pay your bills. You need to have a a home. Mm. You need to have a piece of a car. Okay. You need to have a job. If you got kids, you need to be taking care of them. And after so many kids, it's not nothing I can do with you. Right. Unless you got that lead. You need to have that lead. No. Okay. That leaven can come and we can just do that and we're not going to do nothing else. But that's not going to be no future if you got too many kids. And no. You got too many kids. You got that lead. No, because I know people with. (laughs) I know know ones with little ones that got a lot of kids. Mm. Um. But I'm just a different type of. I'm just a, <laughs> you, got, you got a six all oh. kids, yeah. You got six kids. You got six kids. No, no. I got oh god, six kids. that's a lot of children. It is. Yeah, you just gotta. I don't know. You just gotta be firm in who you are and what you want. Firm, you like go. you can't be out here chasing a certain type of man or even a certain type of woman and expect to get loyalty, love, or any of those things because a lot of people we're in this generation of surface. Yeah. It's what can you do for me? 
How can I benefit from you? It's not like you need to talk to your homegirls then. I, I mean, do you, talk to you, them. They'll listen to me. Game. I'm just a humble friend. They ain't thinking, but they like, shut your broke ass up. She's <laughs> 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 spitting right now. Ain't she? And, she's well, spitting, I she's mean, spitting, my yeah. bro, like, I'm not broke, broke, but you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I don't got like. You know. No, no, I, we understand I what you're saying. You saying Louis you, bag? You sitting here? You sitting here at a dinner with your? Stuff. You sitting here at the dinner with your friend who gets a thousand dollars? I ain't never gave no girl a thousand dollars. I was like, bitch. <laughs> but you sitting there with your friend that got a th- that gave somebody a thousand dollars as a gift or whatever, and she said threw it down and was mad. Mm-hmm. It should have been at least four thousand. Mm-hmm. Like this is a different. That's those are different types of conversations. That's different types of people. Mm-hmm. Like you know what I'm Absolutely. saying? Absolutely. So I mean, you ain't gotta, you know, you ain't gotta. Just, I, I'm not a bro. Yeah, we we know we, it's we normal. Normal. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's, no, that's they're different. normal. That's the new norm. That ain't, nah, nah, that shit ain't normal. That shit ain't never gonna be normal. No, that's the new norm. What? Nah. The, you don't know because you're first, not single. No, first, 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 <laughs> you first ain't of out of here dating. No, no, That's no, no. the new normal. Trust Steve, me. Steve out here dating. I guarantee you, he's not gonna come across somebody who's gonna be ungrateful for anything that he gives him. That's if he, if he goes beyond his. I was about to say something, but I do not. I'm not gonna go there. I'm saying, if, if if you go if you go beyond your fucking means for somebody. I'm not I saying think, that that situation. I think that, that, that she that felt were. like it wasn't beyond his means. Ah, she must have seen something. I think she knew, like, you got some money and you plan me like a little girl with a thousand dollars. Wow. Damn. I, I take a thousand on my birthday. You Whatever feel me? <laughs> you know. heard me. <laughs> I want a thousand dollars. Niggas is happy for the six. Mm-hmm. The government. Okay. Niggas was popping. <laughs> I, I seen a TikTok that nigga popping ass because he got the six. Ooh. Hey, you said <laughs> popping ass before the six. She Let's said. keep that real. <laughs> Let's keep that real. Hey, you see, you see that you see that tweet I put in the group where a dude said uh, people complaining about the six hundred. He's like, it just made me work harder. It was stupid That's as so hell. Somebody always somewhere trying to That's be so cute. Dumb, just boy, shut your said, ass up. Nigga said, <laughs> what did the nigga say? He said, uh, I rather. Somebody said, I rather get six hundred than two thousand because it's just gonna make me grind hard. Dumb yeah, that's what he said. That's yeah. that's in yeah. there. Okay, <laughs> said, you're dumb. I'm, I'm just built different. Somebody said, <laughs> yeah. if, you, if you built like that, nigga, you wouldn't qualify for this. Fool. Like boy, shut your stupid ass. <laughs> Real talk, bro. Oh, man. Maybe that was funny, one of those man. like little trick kind of statements. Like maybe if I seem grateful, they'll just go ahead and that's give the it to thing, me. Shut up. Bro. But that's the. But that's the. And we used to talk about this early in the podcast. But that is the facade of social media mm-hmm. in general. Is kind of right, part of the reason why some people can't get into other things. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Is because when you get in there and you own this thing, you see these people are putting on images of shit. Mm-hmm. So. I mean, it was just probably what five, six years ago. I'm, I'm like, I, I be big on Twitter. Five, mm-hmm. six years ago, everybody, you know, degreed up, doing good, doing mm-hmm. well, this, that, mm-hmm. and the third. And then when shit starts, you know, hitting the fan like it is, mm-hmm. everybody waiting on stimulus packages. And yeah. shit. it's like, damn, hold on. I, I, thought I, you was I recently making- posted. Um, you know how a lot of people are like, y'all mad about six hundred dollars this you know this shouldn't have stopped your hustle or some shit let me go find it Mm -hmm. and it really makes me mad because i often say on social media like just because something doesn't not directly affect you just because it's not your situation doesn't mean you can't have compassion for it affecting somebody else um the the stimulus isn't changing my situation because my job, my employer has taken very good care mm-hmm. of us. Yeah. I mean, to the point where yeah. it put me in a situation where I'll never be broke again. Ooh, young girl, NBA young girl. From the fact that <laughs> I'll never have to live check to check again. Mm-hmm. I never have to struggle again. And I'm a single mother of two kids. So I, yeah. you can imagine that I've struggled. Oh, definitely. Um, so, and even though that $600 is just going to be extra into my bank account, mm-hmm. I know people who really need that 600 and more Hell yeah. to make it like they're drowning or people that who are already living check to check or barely making their bills that 600 dollars is a slap in the face no that's all i can see it, I can it see is that. Com- uh, and you know there are people like just take your 600 dollars, especially no. from a gap like what was the last one like march or yeah, yeah it was a long shit. time ago it was, it was, it was a long December? time ago yeah, you yeah. know you got people like nine months haven't gotten yeah, their then they unemployment they dropped it on rent week though <laughs> 
<laughs> well, you know, as they should. I, I, but yeah, but I you just see what feel I'm like you know, people just everybody's rich. Like, so y'all don't need. Granted, I don't need mm-hmm. it, but it ain't about me. Right. Everything's not about you and what you need and what mm-hmm. you're going through. Because sometimes there's other people right next to you that are going through worse situations so you can advocate for them. Yeah. I better not see them in no Balenciagas, Dan. They definitely going to be in them Balenciagas. <laughs> they got Balenciagas. They definitely going to be in them, in them Balenciagas. Definitely going to be in those Balenciagas. I know you need a 600. And people but judge on situations Eve. based off of how it affects them. They never consider how it's affecting somebody else. No, it's, I, I completely agree. And I that's agree that. frustrating. Yeah. Because basically those people that are talking about this 600 take the, are just like Mitch McConnell. Mm. Y'all doing what he's doing. He's basically saying take the money fucking figure it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mitch but, is. you know, we also talking about people who've probably been s- finessing and stealing the that, whole definitely. pandemic. Oh, yeah. You know how many people going to jail? <laughs> you know how many people going to jail? You going to jail. <laughs> April 15th next year? This time, <laughs> they, when they go to jail, loans and shit. I remember I uh, Joe Fresh Goods, the dude that do the, uh, yeah, the Joe Fresh Goods. He said, uh, he's like, well, I just drove past uh, Michigan Ave. That's when the people was doing them small business loans. It was something like I think Illinois was doing specifically for small business loans. It was like ten thousand dollars. He said. <laughs> They would just give it up to anybody. He said, I just drove that Michigan ass. He said, the Gucci line down the block. <laughs> and, 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 you know, everybody's dripping in Gucci, Louis Vuitton, and they really dead ass looking at people like me. I don't know about y'all, but like, oh, it's broadcast bitch. Okay, no. I don't need that. I mean, I do like a couple of nice items sometimes, but I'm where not going to be at where people be thinking you so damn broke. Like, I, I don't know. I, I am Don't broke. nobody think anything of me. I, I am don't broke. Think. I be in the crib. Huh? I am broke. Your employer sets you up for life and you broke. I mean, I'm broke in the sense of You rich to me. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know everybody's idea of broke is different. You got some broke people is subjective. a thousand yes, it's definitely subjective. Broke yeah. subjective. Until uh, you subjective. go to a third world country, like you'll never when you go to a third world country, you'll never consider yourself broke. I've been to Mexico. Like I don't want to say Mexico's third world, but it's close. I it's, feel like I'm broke because I, I, I can't live the the life that I really want to live with the with the um the income that I have or the money that I have. But I definitely can live comfortably and happy. What do you want to do? Like like what? A, I mean, who doesn't want to run around the world and not have to worry about anything? Because well, because I mean, do you? Steve, I know your answer to this already, but like, do you want to be filthy rich? Though? I don't want to be you, filthy you rich. You ain't got to be rich or beyond imagine. No, right? I don't want to. You no, can be comfortable and be happy, right? Yeah, and I'm comfortable and I'm very happy. But I would like to, hey, live in a better neighborhood. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, right now, I could afford to live in a better neighborhood, but. Your comfort level is too high, right? Where you are? No, if I lived in a better neighborhood, that would be more of my money. And that would mean less saying. activities that I could do with my children. Right. You're comfortable so, with the money, like out, com- out yeah. after, you know, yes, after I'm, I deal with where I'm living. Yeah, I'm where I live, I, I still have enough money left over yeah, to do yeah. whatever my heart desires. You know, my kids want to do this. I can go to the grocery store and mm-hmm. buy whatever I want in that damn grocery store, and I don't got to yeah. check a price on nothing. And I know your friends ain't selling stamps. I've been texting people for <laughs> two days. <laughs> <laughs> Stamps you want to sell? If not, that's fine. <laughs> hey, look, uh, Vern, I remember. Uh, so yeah, I found a, uh, I found a post that you posted. Okay, what good. Here it? we go. Hot take. Nah, it ain't. It ain't. Not, well, oh, I mean, it is could it a be hot, hot take. take. It, it ain't. It ain't dissing no man or nothing like that. It's more so just social media. He tells you I was a man hater. Nah, I don't send him some shit though. Where, you be you be hating on men. I'm nope, nope, nope. What I tell you. She says she, she hates cute. niggas. I hate niggas. I love men. I like good men, but I don't like niggas. She deal with white dudes and she hate niggas. No. You tried it. <laughs> look, look, look at the image I'm building. Look you at that. You just tried it. <laughs> you just tried it. <laughs> you tried me. <laughs> no. I, hey, listen. Look. What's the point? What's the difference, though? Tell the difference what the between difference is. a nigga is a womanizer. It, it, 
Nigga, look at me. She I explained. I'm not a wo- I'm not a womanizer. I'm not. Look, he told you. me the definition. Finesse, I'm not a womanizer. Is, but. Finesse is women to get what they want, be it mentally, emotionally, financially. Those are niggas. Niggas that's dragging a female through the trenches, not being upfront about what he wants and what he's able to provide. And that's emotionally, financially, mentally, physically, just using a female and sending her through the trenches, breaking her heart. When you not gonna ever be what she needs you to be. Mm. But what's, you're what's using the percentage her. of men or niggas? Now that I don't know, I can't just say make that. A guess. I can't a lot. God damn it, a lot, see, a lot. You a hate lot. Men, then. But no, I hate niggas. I love men. I know very good men. I know very good men, and I don't mind to be like that's a good man that's right a there. Good man, right there. Yeah. But I don't like no nigga that be doing nigga <laughs> shit. <laughs> I ain't with that. Now don't go playing with me. Okay, <laughs> like I feel you. I, big I, difference I, between men me. and niggas. You said womanizer. I, face, like I was looking at you, nigga. I was facing big my ear towards women her. And bitches. Nah, you're not a womanizer. And Two shit, different nah, things. Women that. and bitches are not the same thing. Yeah. There's so, women. There's bitches. So could that be? So can I, a good? So I can should. a good man? If he? If a good man makes his? Uh, uh, you know his his intentions known. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, you know, I'm dealing with other people. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And he could still be a good man. He could still be okay. Absolutely, all right, all right, because right. he's honest and upfront. And yeah. it's once you tell a person what it is, what it ain't, and what it's gonna be, and they still choose to stick around. Hey, everything you did your part. You did your part. You did your part. Now, if you lying and I oh, don't know, baby, I don't even know that girl. Yeah. Over texted with a fake phone and all. That. I don't got time for that. Yeah, I feel no, you. that's bullshit. Huh? Okay. Don't try me like that again. Yeah, but you, 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 uh, you started some smoke. On Facebook, and I'm only bringing this up because my niggas, shit. my niggas trying to get a house. You yeah. remember the, the house version written shit oh, that yeah. you posted? Okay, all right, let's 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 do it. Let's hear it. So what you say? You mean? I mean, you remember what you I said? I can show you the it status. Caused a lot of controversy. Yeah. Um, I think just like relationships, how we talked about, you know, your peers will put you in the mindset of what you got going on ain't worth nothing. Mm-hmm. I think that we're in a time. Black people are a large group of. I'm better than you because. Ugh, that's you want me read your, you want me read your exact words? You can. I want to go ahead. So she said, a lot of people are buying houses just for attention and try and and to try to shit on people who rent. I don't know if these same people missed the fine print, but it ain't yours until the balance is zero. You written from the bank. Stay humble. Don't come on here trying to argue. I said exactly what I said. And I truly and I stand behind that because, um, I feel like. Some people are buying houses just to say that they're not renting. Rented. Yeah, that's they just want to be like, and I bought a house and post. I bought a brand new car. Mm-hmm. This is the first time I've said it. I have a 2021, mm-hmm. and you haven't heard me mention it at all on social media. See, I, like I, I didn't fuck with people like you. I didn't post the you keys. Don't, don't know how good. Don't know yeah, how well. Like, don't know how bad. I didn't you know. buy this yeah. car for you. Right. To shit on you. Exactly. I bought this car because this is what I wanted, yeah. and this is what I needed to feel like. My hard work ain't in vain. Okay. I'm all right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But I feel like every time people go and graduate from college. Then they are better than the people who don't have a degree. Every the time ones they, that's not not the ones that celebrate and graduate from college. Not all of them. Deal. Not all of them. Okay, Let me just okay. be clear and say right, that. We got, we got, got, we got cleared people, up because you got some just like getting married. Mm-hmm. Just like getting married, you have people who really deep lay down at night, and I've spoken on that before, that think that because they're a wife. They're better than a than a than a single woman, mm-hmm. bitch. What? Oh, no, that's definitely yeah. facts. I, but that's the generation that we're living in. That because I have society has made you feel like you have to get married. Basic shits accol- accolades. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. My friends think I'm absolutely crazy because I said I want a baby. I don't want the daddy. I want the baby. Mm-hmm. And guess what I got? You got the babies. I got the baby. Mm-hmm. I didn't get the daddy. Get the and daddy. I'm okay with that. And they like, you are crazy. And here I am again, two years later. And I'm like, all right. I'm cool. I'm ready for another baby. Oh, you ready for another baby? <laughs> I want another baby. The daddy day is not important. Because wow. society tells us that you need to be with the father. That's how a lot of these That's people society. get in these situations. Yeah. I'm doing it for the kids. Well, guess what you're also doing for the kids? You're fucking damaging them trying to stick, stay in a family yeah. Yeah. when y'all hate each other at this point. That's true. Y'all have grown apart at this point. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Your baby daddy's pay child support? Um, The first one does when he wants. When he wants to. When he wants to. So he got a warrant. 
No. <laughs> no, and let me tell you something. I give you his name. He, you can go no, ask no, no, him. No, 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 no. I don't want his name. He knows how to finesse the system. Oh, okay. So, no, the first one does when, when he wants, if he wants, yeah. or if he has a job, or if he hasn't quit the job. Whatever. I don't know. Whatever, yeah. Yeah, whatever. The, the second one does saying. not. You know, and you don't require him to. You ain't going to take him to the office. I, you know why I did take him to the office and guess what? Oh, you what? did take him Hold to on, the office. Hold on, let me tell you God something. God damn it. You let want the baby. But guess what? We're best friends. You wanted the you, baby. I'm going to tell you why I took him to God the damn office. damn it. Because right. I told you I wanted the baby. That means leave me alone. Leave me alone. You making him pay child support because he didn't leave you alone? No, I'm going to tell you why. Because if you're going to come good. here, it costs to be the boss. Didn't I already say that? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. It costs to be the boss. Okay. So if you're going to come around here bossing me around... <laughs> With Pay my up, baby, nigga. Hey, guess hey, what? you know what? It costs fucking money. I almost disagreed with you. But it I costs feel money. You, you can't come you. over here bossing me around and you not doing nothing. Now listen, you if want you this, don't want, you want, do you want, the, you want this nigga to not be in his child's life? No, and we're best friends. Oh my god. The first one. <laughs> I'm so confused, one, but I agree. No, with the you. first one put his cell phone child support. I didn't put him on child support, and he hates me because he put his fucking cell phone child support. He listening to his mama. Listening to his fucking mama. <laughs> Got you fifteen thousand dollars in the hole, <laughs> and you want to know why I'm not going to take you after I support? I most certainly am hey, not because hey, I didn't put you on there. Listen. Now this other one, I said, listen, I've texted you. Listen, I'm going. I went downtown today. I'm put you on child support. Listen, it ain't no B, and we we could. Now, if me and you can come to an understanding, maybe if you, because you since you don't want to leave me alone, you clearly mm. want to be a father, and being a father comes with it comes with responsibilities. Yeah. Otherwise, leave me alone. No, he, 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 trying leave, he trying to leave his he ain't trying to leave his child alone though. Yeah, that's debatable. Oh um, my God. So, so with that being said, we can do this outside the court. I'm not tripping like we have. Mm-hmm. Like I don't ask a lot. I'm not one of those women that feel like kids got to have new shoes every week, every month. Like yeah. all that, you know. I'm not that kind of girl. Right. I can take care of my own baby, mm-hmm. but if you're gonna come bossing me around. It costs to be the boss. I kind of understand that, man. You got to pay, you know, you can't walk in somewhere and start barking orders and you ain't got no, you ain't put in what, you ain't paying the people that right. you bossing around. That's yeah. not how it works. Have you ever seen a coworker think they the fucking manager? Oh my God, I hate kids. You can't didn't hire me. Niggas, I can't you didn't hire me. Niggas, Go man. on some damn where. Yeah, you an employee face, just man. like me. Right. That's all. I might make more than you, nigga. Get out of my face. <laughs> and you hear me? You hear me? That's how I feel with the first one. Like, first of all, I got more money than you. Mm. No, come up here, tell me what to do. Damn. I am the boss of this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you're going to be the boss with me, then it has to be equal responsibility because you got a lot of people who want to <laughs> He's got bars, have bro. something to say, but mm. they don't want to give anything. They don't want to put in the work. It, it's work. It's work. That means if you not gonna leave me alone, it means you trying to do doctor's appointments, right? Oh, yeah. That means you trying to pay pay these deductibles. Mm-hmm. That means you plan on calling in the work when the little little Ray Ray gets sick, right? Yeah. That means these three hundred dollar glasses this child keeps on breaking that you gonna come out of your fucking pocket, mm-hmm. right? You can buy them. Mm-hmm. That means cheerleading and dance that's four hundred dollars a month, you gonna go yeah. half yeah. or you gonna pay for it. That means you're gonna get your car on the road and you're gonna drive to all these competitions, right? Mm-hmm. You definitely ain't just gonna sit around and tell me what the fuck I'm gonna do. Yeah, no, no, no. You can't be you can't no. I hope I hope ain't no niggas out there yeah, just I got like, one. hey, you need to do this. Yeah, you I got one that. that's just like that. And and I'm gonna just say this from a distance. I got I'm not one gonna that's help. just like that. Nah. So it, it costs to be the boss. Niggas' mamas, niggas' mamas tell them, "Hey, put yourself on child support because uh, if you don't, and she decides to do it when the baby's five, they're gonna go back to when he was a newborn. You got paid." And they don't back. do that no more. I don't know if anybody needs to know that they don't do that anymore. They do that. <laughs> they only go back five years. They don't go. You can't go when a child thirteen no more and get thirteen years worth of. Uh, they don't do that no more. They that's, do that. Nigga, that's they cri- don't do that anymore. That's crippling. Listen, I don't know. When, I don't know when they stop. When did this my, happen but, but, to listen, somebody you know? They don't. I don't know when they stop. But when me and my girl broke up, for we broke up for a year. How we got long back ago together. was that? This was this was 2016. Yeah, they don't do that no more. Okay, all right. They only go back. I five definitely, years. I definitely was behind the eight ball, three thousand dollars. 
He was off the, the, right off the bat. Let me pull up the child support list and find your name on there. <laughs> no, 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 no. We straight now. I don't pay child okay, no good. All uh, right. Yeah, yeah. So let me ask you, what does guys uh, have on, did against you get child into support? The, did, did you get into the the home thing? Uh, yeah, we got I, damn, way far, far. Okay, so yes, that's back the to beauty that. of freestyle. I do really feel like we are in a generation where people are doing things to either shit on other people or impress other people. Yeah, they're doing it for show. They're doing it for show. It's a lot of responsibility that comes with buying a house. Oh, yeah. And right now, I'm just not ready to buy a house. Mm -hmm. But am I less of a woman because I'm renting a house? No, because I can call my fucking landlord if the fucking water heater goes out and he's going to come and fix it. That's the As opposed to having to go into debt $5,000 to fix a damn water heater. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Granted, I get that people want a forever home. They want to have something to give back to their kids. I get it, and I'm here for it. But nothing that you do in life, period, be it buying a house, buying a car, graduating from college, getting married, having a baby, should ever, ever be your tool to undermine somebody else and their, <sighs> their accomplishments or the road that they're taking. <sighs> And that was my point. That was all the point that no, I was trying to yeah, make. That is that, that, that a lot of y'all like, and y'all still renting, or y'all in Balenciagas and y'all still renting. Shut your weak ass up. Nah, man. Just shut up. Just shut up. Do what you doing for your million of fucking kids. Yeah, worry mm -hmm. about you. Worry about you, and I got me over here. Yeah. I got us. Right. I ain't asking you for nothing. Makes sense. That's all. That makes sense. Nothing's wrong with buying a house. Go buy your house. I'm going to buy my house. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it for anybody but my kids. Yeah, and and I love that. I love that. There's nothing wrong with it. My kids out of space. My youngest ain't got no bedroom right now. Ain't nothing wrong with buying equity. Because like when you buy a house, it's equity. Yeah, yeah yes. it's property. But, and, yeah. At the yeah. same time, some people just ain't interested. Like I'm not, like my mom would be pressuring me like, you better be 35 soon. It take 25 years to pay off a house. Like, I don't know if I'm trying to pay on something for 25 years. Yeah, like mm -hmm. who said the world's yeah. even going to still be standing? It's, it's, a social, <laughs> it's, it's a social construct. I feel like I come in here and say that, nah, that phrase like every week now. But what you said that, about marriage and all that shit. Yeah, all it's just, all it's, it's social, it's social constructs, and, and and yeah, and people are get so wrapped up into shit that people want a wedding and not so, a marriage. People get so wrapped up into what we are, the idea of what we're supposed to be doing as adults, that they feel like it's they they look at tradition as if it's a fact. Who can we can we touch that real fast? Let's go ahead. Uh, this I mean, tradition I mean, thing. We, we off the cuff today. Um. I have this argument with my friend who's married. She's got a good man, by the way. Okay. Shout um, out to him. So when I had my son, my son does not have my last name. Okay. My son does not have his father's last name. Hold on. Whose last name he got this? He's got his own last name. What is it? Bronx. You did that? I did that. I mean, that's fire. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't know, I didn't know you could do that. I, I didn't know you could do it either. That's fire. My friend has argued. We have this argument every week yeah. about... Tradition, mm -hmm. and I said, "Well, what does it mean? You keep arguing that my baby should have his father's last name, and you're not explaining to me why. Why? why? Because when you argue something, you got to be able to back it up. Mm -hmm. yeah. You telling me I'm wrong? Y'all already having babies out of wedlock. You don't want the daddy. The daddy can't have the last name. You can't. And just tell me let why me interject real quick. Been... Just re real quick. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna interject because I know Steve don't. You know he's he ain't got no kids. No kids. He ain't got, okay. So when when you have a baby out of wedlock, when you have a baby and you're not married, automatically the hospital automatically does it. They give the the, the baby's last name, the mother's last name. Mm -hmm. That's not the, true. It, the automatically. On the page. You have to you fill are, it out. My, my kids was baby Connor. Oh, yeah, the, yeah. Day one. Yeah, yeah. Day one. Yeah, that's they, true. They baby Connor. And and then when we do the when you do the birth certificate and mm -hmm. you, you sign you, it, you fill it, then out. you give them the, name. the father's last mm -hmm. name. Or whoever's. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. I just wanted so, to yes, put that, that knowledge that out there for the people it, who it don't have It is baby Boom, boom, until yeah. you give the baby a name. Mm -hmm. And the nurses came in the room four times. <laughs> <laughs> because originally, my idea was that he wasn't going to have a last name at all. Mm. He nah, was, he's she's on that. her Elon Musk. Musk yeah. uh, <laughs> he, is, he is who he is. He's his own man. He's designed his damn self. Eee. He would design his own family. He is not attached to anybody. That's not so me, fire. not his father, not anybody. That's and they so kept fire. saying, did you know you left this? Did you know you left it? I said what I said, girl. That's what I wrote. I ain't slow. I ain't retarded. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. People will argue you down about traditions that they cannot explain. They can't and just explain because, them. just because that's how you grew up, yeah. that everybody had their daddy's last name. But who the fuck said that that's right. how it go? And what right. the hell make I got to name my baby 
Kanisha, because the daddy's name Kenneth mm-hmm. Williams. <laughs> but damn me as the mama. <laughs> Fuck that I carry the damn baby. I'm less important than, than he is because he's the daddy. And yeah. nobody why, can ever explain to me. Why black people always got to like incorporate both the name. parents' names in the baby's oh, name? Oh, it drives me crazy. My mm-hmm. son has his own name that i like his that his own man yeah he's his own man he's not whatever mistakes his father has made he's not whatever mistakes his mother has made mm-hmm. he's not any reputation of either of us he's his own man and every single day and my son is a savage okay so you might not can tell that i'd be speaking life into him because he's i don't know <laughs> but every day uh-huh. you are a strong man yeah you are a good man yeah you are a loving man mm-hmm. you are loved you are smart you can be anything in this world that you want to be. Oh, man, I wish I thought of that. You're not your daddy. <laughs> not those, but the last name thing. You're but not yeah, your yeah, daddy. Yeah. You yeah. Not, you're not even you me. You can do it again. You can do it. You can do the it. The next and one going to be a I'm girl. I'm telling you, people will really argue you down about traditions that they can't explain. They can't explain. Because my, my last name's French. Nigga, I'm black. I don't know where the fuck my last name come from. My last name came from some slave people that adopted my great-grandmother. So, so you see what I'm saying? I don't so, know these people. So 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 it makes sense to you know what I'm gonna give you your own last name. Now you know where it came you, from. Now you know where it came and from. And you can tell your kids and then they can tell they and now everybody you, now after you know, you know exactly where this shit started. Where last it started with came from. Honor Bronx in 2018. That's period. Fire. Nothing before that. No, nah, that's so it's damn nothing fire. before Jesus that. Jesus Christ. But I've had this <laughs> argument so many I've had this argument so many times. Where people really like, she's did she give that baby some crazy name? Why do yeah. people? Why did you give your baby some man's last name that don't do nothing for your baby? Jesus Christ! <laughs> why, why do why do you think why do we why do we get wrapped up in tradition so much? Like I wanted my kids, I wanted my kids to have my last name because, damn, can I be honest? I want to be completely honest. Yeah. I wanted my kids to have my last name because I wasn't sure if me and the mother was gonna work. What does that mean? So let me let me try to explain like. Without getting in trouble. Without getting in trouble, yeah. So my first my first son, six years old, okay. and we had him a month into messing around. We mm-hmm. wasn't we probably wasn't in an official relationship yet when she was pregnant. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I get it. So I'm just like so when he's born, it's like, man, I don't know how this shit's gonna pan out, to be honest. Okay. My second kid, the same thing. We had broken up for a year. Like okay. I said, we broke up in twenty sixteen. My second one was born in twenty seventeen. Uh-huh. The kids kinda what kind of brought us back together. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I want my kid to have my last name Why? because I'm like, I don't know if Why? this shit's going because I don't because it's 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 still there's tradition tied to it, there's and I can I can admit to that I okay. can admit to that, but I I don't want I don't want my kid to be out here for me to me personally mm-hmm. I don't want I don't want my kid out here with no kind of. Uh, um, uh, biological attachment to me other than blood. You can't see blood. But you understand like, what I'm saying? But they look but like I you. feel like it don't get. <laughs> it don't. It's not. A, it's, it's not enough. It doesn't get. I deeper didn't. Than I didn't blood. know you when I was having oh. kids. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I did, I was, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So 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 just j- the the optics. Yeah. I'm worried about optics. I'm not gonna sit here and lie that I'm mm-hmm. and say that I'm not. Mm-hmm. And and but I feel like I am very non traditional when it comes to most things. Yeah. But the optics though, I knew the shit was not in the condition it needed to be in when I had both of my sons. I yeah. needed the optics. I had my daughter the to, first time I had sex with her daughter with her father. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? I got pregnant the very first see what I'm time. Saying? Meg the was thrown with the condom. With what? The condom. Whoa. Okay, he need to get a blood test. Oh, he I'm did just playing. too. Oh, huh? He did too. I mean, I he don't got blame him. He two you. blood tests. I don't blame I, I, from a man's I don't feel like you. I, I do blame you. And I'm going to tell you why I blame you. Because. The condom broke. Your condom broke and you didn't tell me that your condom broke. You didn't feel it? Oh. No. You didn't feel I, it? You don't know the difference between plastic no, and don't. skin? Because I lost my virginity when I was 20 years old. And oh, okay. I was 25 when I got pregnant. I was not that. Experience. Experience. So I had no How idea. How you lose your virginity at 20 and want levens? Boy, don't tell me. Okay. So listen, <laughs> I, just say, if you're 14, I didn't know until here, four days later, 26. a piece of the fucking condom came out. I had <gasps> to call my boy cousin. I had to call my boy cousin. I was like, what does it mean when the piece of the condom comes out? It he don't said, mean shit. He said, I mean, that nigga's condom was old and he kept going. <laughs> so I had to call him on the phone like, why you didn't tell me that your condom broke? So when we fast forward to the point of me being pregnant and having a baby, I feel like you did this to me. I didn't set you up. 
You didn't give me a choice. What choice did What choice did I have? Put an, Every, abortion, nah, put an abortion on my body. Come on, man. Every man has heard from their father, grandfather, uncle that it takes two to tango. You ain't you. You do not get that. Exception? Me? No, you personally. Yes, I'm talking to you I'm directly. Tell you, I, I don't. You don't, I don't get, agree. You don't. You don't. You I don't, don't get agree the... because there was a condom when we started. Mm-hmm. You, he missed three opportunities okay. to stop this from happening. Oh, he was bussing, bussing. You had you no bussin', no no bussin', the bussin', three bussin'. opportunities that you had oh, to stop okay, this okay. from happening if you didn't want it to happen. Was no sex. A, okay, that's four. Okay. First thing, no sex. Mm-hmm. Second thing, when your condom broke, you should have stopped. Mm-hmm. Right. Yes. Okay. As a man, you knew your condom broke. Yeah, yeah. But have you ever felt vagina? No, I haven't. Okay. So, listen, <laughs> so the third opportunity you had was you didn't even attempt to pull out. Mm. So I mean, but a, what's the rules on that? I mean, I hold on. But okay, I can't go into detail. At least try. I was Most scared to pull try. out. Most people try. You didn't pull out. I ain't gonna pull the out. Shoot on you. Like, you oh. The fourth thing that you didn't do. Was you didn't even tell me, so I could have went and got a plan B. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. that's why I feel like you did this to he me was, by the was, time mm-hmm. I found out it was too late. And what I was supposed to do, put an abortion on my body? Mm. Was that what I was supposed to do? Put an abortion on my body because it wasn't the ideal situation? If I mean, it's up to you. I don't believe in abortion. Okay. Well, For that's, me. That's your choice. That's For me. You, you, it's now, up to you. Now, I ain't, listen, you can that's, abort that's, all your babies if you mm-hmm. want to. I ain't oh, judging okay. baby. You okay. need me to take you down there? Listen, <laughs> okay. I'm right. not one of those. But for myself, mm-hmm. I'm not aborting my babies, uh, regardless of the circumstances. Uh, d- at the time when you got pregnant, you do know that condoms only uh, reduce the chance of pregnancy; it doesn't necessarily eliminate. Man, them, right? go on with that. I mean, come it, on, man. It's, this is the fucking truth, man. <laughs> I, so you don't think there's he should have done anything differently? Uh, no, no, no. He definitely definitely speak up, but but at the same time. Like I said, it takes two to tango. So you know, so so everybody you goes in a situation knowing. I agree with you there. With protection, knowing that I'm not eliminating but anything, I'm, I'm just only reducing, reducing it. Reducing. I completely agree with you, and that's the reason why I think the difference between me and maybe him or m- me or men who think like him is. Guess what? We got a fucking baby. We mm. gotta do this. Shit. Gotta do what it. It do. just gotta get done. I don't so understand why women just don't the- eat Plan B's with their breakfast. Okay, well, Every morning, nigga, you know that makes them come on their period. I'm just playing. I, 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 I wasn't serious. Dude, it was you know a bad joke. Feel okay. weird Maybe it was a bad joke. Like, uh, Maybe it was a bad joke. Uh, okay, you know what bad. I'm saying? All right, all right. I just feel like <laughs> even after you make mistakes, you have to accept responsibility. Mm-hmm. And some mistakes you can't go back and change. You got people who have robbed somebody for the first time and killed them. They didn't mean to kill them. They didn't mean to kill them. They, they didn't mean to, to kill all them. Time. But guess what? You in that motherfucker for a million years. Million. Because double Y. Some shit you just can't change. Mm-hmm. So here we are with a baby, and instead of spending the rest of your life angry because you got a baby that you didn't want, you just you can look at it glass half full or half empty. Mm-hmm. Which one you want to do? She got bars. I'm gonna That's just how I live my life. I'm talking about that. You got, you, you got bars, man. No, I'm telling you, this is honestly how I live my life. Like I can't go through life angry because you got me pregnant, yeah. and I didn't. No, I didn't want a baby with you either. I got a baby with a stranger. I don't even know you. Oh, That's why know. we can't agree with anything. Oh, yeah, we no. don't agree on shit. You Nothing. Ain't going to. Never. I Our religious like... beliefs are totally different. Wow. We disagree on everything. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Does he look good? Now. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? He wasn't he wasn't a bad looking guy then, but I said that I didn't want to talk to him then. I was like, oh, I'm not interested. What I'm not interested. What happened? I was on a breakup. And my best what friend you told you me. Need, you needed something to take your mind off the breakup? Yeah. Okay. And my best friend, we went out to uh, breakfast one morning, the first day I met him. And she said, do not talk to him. Mm. And I'm she like, why, knew. girl? He she busted said, in him. She, nope. I hadn't <laughs> messed with him. No, I hadn't messed with him. She said, you're going to destroy him. Hmm? Was she a swear, I swear to God, my best friend told me that. I call her on the phone right now. Had a deck of tarot she cards said, in a purse. leave him alone. She said, just don't even do it. And I was like, why? He seemed nice. She said, he told you two things. Mm. He told you he wasn't that smart. Mm. And he told you he was a mama's boy. Ouch. Mm, 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 so what mm. you think I've been dealing with for 11 years? Somebody mm. that's not that smart. Mm-hmm. And somebody who's a mama's boy. His mama speak for him. Come to you. To, I, I, and my yeah. son, are you doing this you to know, my son? That's like earlier when I said that dude, he's the one who put himself on child support. Mm-hmm. His mama told him to. Mm-hmm. How do you think I know that? Mm-hmm. 
My mom told me to put lots of stuff on child support. <laughs> like, I, I, didn't, yeah, I, didn't, I didn't do it. I didn't don't do, do it. it. But I'm just saying, you, she did. She did it. suggest it. Though. You don't do it. You so, don't do it. So I got, a, I got a, uh, I got, a, I got a question for you. It just made, it just popped in my head. This is another topic. Where we at on time, Steve? We good? Yeah, I mean, it's an hour. We good though. Okay. All right. So I saw this video, and uh, I've always thought this, but I've, I never knew how to put it into words. Where a woman was describing uh, how women don't really be. Attracted to men for the most part. I'm not going to say 100%, but for the most part, women ain't really attracted to men. What women are attracted to is the uh, attraction men have to them. Oh, you mean to tell me that this dude or, you know, you, this nigga suck my toes, whatever, anything. Because he's he's he wants me so bad that I want him back to see how bad he wants me. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Or do we need to punch out so I can show you the video? No, I got it. You understand what I'm, I'm saying, I'm right? What do you think about that? I think you're talking about women who... Haven't even reached the place that they love themselves or know themselves. I, I'm going to tell you, I just want I'm back, tell back, you why. Hold on, hold on. Because you if get you're looking it. for somebody else to feed something that you're missing, that's what it is. You looking for somebody else to cater to you. Niggas ain't ugly, though. Some niggas really do be ugly. <laughs> <laughs> but hold on, because I like mine ugly. I'm like, oh, he's so ugly, you ugly fucker. But, <laughs> hold on, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. But what I like the fuck ugly. does that mean? <laughs> I like ugly ones. What does I that like mean the- to you, though? Because I, cause I, cause I kind of feel I, I, I like ugly girls a little bit. Like, Oh. What is, why are you owing me and I ain't owe you? I feel like an ugly girl is far different from an ugly, ugly guy. Hold on now. Ooh, hold on. Wait hold on. a minute. That was a, uh, it was an episode. I can't remember what show it hey, was. Hold on. You just said that. That nigga Mikey said, because you think, you think Mulatto is dope? She's fire. That nigga, she Mikey, that nigga Mikey said, she's all right. She just reminds me of an ugly, light-skinned girl. Mm, they out there, too. I, I seen her. I thought... I, the, the, uh, I think she's the, fire, though. Like, the, 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 the stereotype is, is, is mixed girls always look good, right? Mm-hmm. And, and, and that's another thing that people get caught up into. They get mm-hmm. caught up into me. So, so there was this one that, that, that I had worked with a couple years ago, mm-hmm. and I was like, I couldn't... Like I couldn't gauge, especially mm-hmm. work. Work changes people's appearance. Mm-hmm. When well, you see them every day, they're not as ugly as yeah. they were the first time you saw. Because it's kind of like being friends with somebody that's ugly. Yeah, you don't you don't, you don't see the you ugly. Don't see you just no see that's your right? friend. Yeah. So this so this is a girl, and she was a like she used to swim. So she like her body was like you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. but she looked like Ernest goes to camp. I swear to God, she did. She was ripped. She was ugly. But after working with her every every day, you didn't see the ugly. So you and she had that swimmer body. You know so what I'm you saying? So you was busting her? No, hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah, 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 nah. No, 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 no. This okay. is this is way too recent for me to be okay. saying I'm busting anybody, first <laughs> yeah. of all. Okay. Second, <laughs> the all answer right. is no. <laughs> she ended up yeah, right, okay. yeah. And, and, Sorry. And and she and she ended up like getting fired from there and working at Qdoba, stabbing somebody. She in jail now. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy, crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Ernest definitely. goes to jail. Ernest goes to jail. <laughs> <laughs> Ernest goes in jail. <laughs> but but yeah, there, that is a thing though, and I don't think it's necessarily that you are attracted to ugly people. It's an ugly feature that's like I, I like that it, though. I think it is definitely possible to just be attracted to people. Yeah. You can be attracted to to the vibe and the you know Mm-mm. the personality. Not, not men. Yes, women. I women. I feel like I have to because niggas, girls. niggas is ugly. I done seen dog face girls. I'm like that be vibes. That have a nice body. Nice. That might even be then. a vibe. That might even be a vibe. As long as something is attractive, then something not ugly. like the something what can, the body can propel it. Yeah, I don't yeah. like it. You can have a. You, you can see have how a, little and stuff. I am. I hey, was. I got to talk. Niggas is attracted to that. Else that you posted too about, oh, about I feel that. Like you. All right. Now, did you read the first stat that you were supposed to read? My we. Yes, because that was about dog. the buying the house. Yeah. Okay. 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 What's this one? Let's see. No, she just bought her bodies, and I seen. I seen where she said. For like a woman who has altered her body cannot speak on a woman who has a natural body because they are not equal playing fields. I completely agree. And I stand you said on that. that. I stand on that. Oh, okay. I stand on that. Okay. Uh, Period. Because men are visual. What do you mean speak on, though? No. Some niggas like, um, like uh, her I ass feel like is small. Uh, uh, what, 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 with that, look how she's built. Well, how was you built before you bought your body? Facts. You can't talk about my small titties and you got implants. Mm. That's, mm. a, that's a fact. It's you facts. can't you can't talk about how my how small my natural booty is when you done did you done took your stomach and put it in your ass. You put your stomach in your ass. You we like that's a fatality not equal playing, on Mortal Kombat. Playing fields. So what, what do you think? What do you think? 
today in 2021, what do you think niggas like? Fake asses. They even though they say they don't <laughs> like looking at me. I don't know what to <laughs> they, do. I'm they say they black. don't like I'm a they, fan of both. I'm gonna tell you what, men swear up and down, and you've seen me rant and rave about this a million times. Y'all swear y'all don't like weave. Y'all swear y'all don't like makeup. You swear you don't like fake bodies. You swear you don't like strippers. But meanwhile, these bitches is making a million dollars. They making they making a killing. You know why they making a killing though? Because, because y'all was because, full of shit. No, no, because women's chasing them fucking looks. Women, women's, but women's putting these, just as much why, into these people the as women, men. Guess why women are chasing that? Because, because they think they, that's what men because want. Because they've seen that this is what y'all want. This is what y'all Who's like. It? Nah, I can't say that, man. I can't. I'm I, a woman. I'm hate, telling you. I I'm not, telling you as a woman and having conversations with other women, we have this conversation on what y'all are liking, what y'all are feeding, what y'all are spending your money on. I have not seen a man's reaction before a woman's reaction on anything fake. I have not. I have not. What do you mean? Because I, what I'm saying is, who's who's got the who's who's got the the first fake body? Can we say Kim Kardashian? Can we say Kim Kardashian is probably the first notable fake body? Nicki Minaj. You know what? One Nicki Minaj is yeah, the first Minaj, notable but fake body. Women- and, but but so to my the point I'm trying to make, the first reaction I saw was negative. Uh, uh, Guess what that was? A bug's life booty that and all this. Jealousy. That was something new. That was that was jealousy. Not, not that when was they jealousy. catch. Not when they caught it. Not when they caught it at the specific angle that they that made jealousy. it look ex- that exaggerated. A woman's fake. natural reaction, and I've spoken on this. I've actually gone live about this before. A woman's natural reaction to another woman getting the attention that she wants is negative. Is to tear her down. Is to say how she feels about it. That's a woman's. I'm a woman. I'm going to tell you. I just had a conversation with a girl who was calling me. Her boyfriend was cheating on her and da 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 da. And she's this type of woman. And I said, your first mistake was finding out who the woman is. Mm-hmm. Because guess what that does? And I've been there. I've been cheated on by a mixed green eyed hair to her ass girl. And I was tore out Fire. the frame. And I'm going to go on the record and say, she tore my self esteem up mm. because I can't compete with you. What? <laughs> I can't compete with green eyes. Mm-hmm. Ernest goes can't and a fake green body mm-hmm. and hair to your ass and fair skin because society have said that these are the things that identify and that defy being beautiful. I can't compete with you. Damn. I can't. Oh man. So the yes, first mistake don't, that don't you made that. was finding out who she was because the first thing you're gonna do is start comparing yourself and that's what's gonna tear you apart. Because even if you better than she is, you're gonna want to know why she's getting the man that you love or why the man that's supposed to love you is going over here with her. And even mm-hmm. if she's better than you, then you like, damn, she does look better. I done been there. That's the first mistake is looking at the other woman. I don't want to know who she is, what she look like, where she work at, how many kids she got, how much money she make. I don't give a fuck. All I need to know is it's another woman. But that but that's magnetic for him though. If you getting you getting cheated on like the first thing you want to know is who? why. I don't. No. You I wanna, don't want to know why. It ain't no science behind most, it. Not you. Not not you at 36 who knows herself better than most people know themselves. Not you, no. But women for the most part, I don't want to say women anybody for the most part mm-hmm. you want to look at somebody because the first thing you want to know is why like why would you do this so so yeah. you look into it so you're going to look into it mm-hmm. just naturally it's just the that's the reaction mm-hmm. let me see why and you ain't gonna do nothing but hurt yourself because you're gonna absolutely. find you're gonna hurt the your person can, the person can look like dog shit absolutely but you're gonna find something it's like oh damn they got a g-wagon yeah. <laughs> it, it, it don't fucking matter yeah yeah, you know, yeah. It's, it, but but that that's just and, what it and is. And that's why I wish every single person in this world who finds out that they're getting cheated on just doesn't do it. Just don't do it. Just, just don't look into it. Just don't look into it. I don't want to know. I don't give a Mario damn. Mario Yeah. I don't want to know. It doesn't do anything for me. No, nah, no, nah, I, I, I. It doesn't I agree change with you. our situation. No, nah, I. Don't, I agree and then there's you. no science behind it. Ain't it's, no science behind it. It yeah. just it, people just it do what, what they want to do. Especially, especially for women and men. For for women being cheated on by men. You ain't, gonna, no, ain't no science. It. It's they, be you did it fat, that's white what you girl. To do, and, most, <laughs> and most men they, are not ready to be monogamous, and there's nothing wrong with that. The 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 real answer is is uh, new pussy. <laughs> <laughs> men, men are attracted to new pussy. That's all it is. What if they chasing after this new pussy? The pussy's not even better than the one he got laying at home. He wouldn't know because it's new. Yeah, he does. You know, weak pussy when you get no, in it. No, 
Nope. Yes, new, child. Nope. Nope. New pussy is fire than is is more fire than a good new pussy. dry pussy is better than the pussy that's at home squirting yep. and doing all types of shit. You yes. full of shit. It, to, to to niggas, let me hear it. You don't understand. God, I want to know. What? Niggas, niggas perception is fucked up. Niggas is what? niggas is fucked up. Now that's crazy, crazy. No, no, no. What? Niggas what? Fucked up. Like Kira says, speak for your own dick. Do speak nah. for your own because that's I'm, crazy I'm speak, as fuck I'm, to I'm me. He gonna over. run back home like baby, baby. He gonna bring up Birkin bag because he done down here fucked up. Nah. I'm just saying, pussy that like, was dry, nah, then rinsed it off. I don't, like think, dry. I don't think consensus. Niggas, I think consensus. I think niggas may be hyped for new pussy. That niggas don't mean be, new pussy is good. No, nah, it ain't. It's, it's it's not. But the fact, but but getting it, the conquering, and then having that is is so he, he's that. still he's still stroking his ego. Yes. as grown as he is, niggas. Is, oh, that's okay. what niggas is. All, niggas don't fuck for nothing. Niggas, just, I, just for bragging I, I, rights. Not going, just to, I, ain't, I I can't go into too much detail because I'm in a relationship. I ain't trying. I ain't trying to be out here sound no like smoke. a. I, I don't want no smoke And I ain't about to be out here Trying to sound like no Fucking alpha male Shit like that But yes Niggas fuck for ego 1000% Niggas don't like Steve you don't fuck with a chick That don't make no time of sounds When you fuck with her She ain't making no She's sounds quiet. She's just quiet Don't bother me Alright nigga uh, What Hold on what He's lying I, Hold on I, what I, 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 I mean I'm saying I've you? never had that But some girls be holding their shit in Like I, they be real I guess cause it, I'm you know older I guess cause I'm older Like I don't wanna fuck on nobody Who's still Trying to be like Yeah I mean I've, I've like, had what chicks the fuck like What going on Say Yeah something. I've had I've had chicks that like I don't know I could just tell that they like Like when it comes to sex Or maybe Like the Yeah it's just different Like some Like especially on the first time You know, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying I've done fuck with chicks on the first time Like if I was dating somebody and the first time they was like, hey, but as we kept going on, like they opened up. Because I'd be talking during sex anyway. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think, you know, just people, a lot of people aren't just in tune with themselves sexually. So it's harder for them to express whatever it is. I'd be talking big shit. I probably old nigga, unicorn. <laughs> Eight babies, like yeah, like, I'm gonna tell I'm a nigga some I love him. Just like, I don't not. really. I'm probably say I love you. I love you so much. Some people shine a bit. You know what I'm saying? Some yeah, people, some people sh- are shy a bit. Shy. That's terrible. Yeah, you can't be shy when some legs come open and a motherfucker's inside of you. I let shy shits out the door. Like, I don't fuck re- chicks that don't want to fuck unless the lights is off. Like, okay, that's weird too. I mean, but I understand that because being a woman is really heavy on your self esteem. Like, since I had a baby. I've never even been this size, and I'm mm-hmm. only 120. I'm 36 years old. Prior to having a baby, I was 100 pounds. So put 20 pounds. Actually, I was 135 last year. So you put 35 pounds on a 100-pound body, body. I never had a stomach before. Mm-hmm. I never had rolls before. So I was very self-conscious, like, who in the fuck is about to find me sexy? I'm the girl that send nudes and and send sexy pictures and buy lingerie and I cannot get into it because I'm like I can't this. Belly, you, you mean like now? I'm just it, even right. now, even now I'm now like trying to hide this belly, nah, trying to turn where you can't see the row. It's just it's hard being a woman. How does subject change that damn fast? <laughs> hey, we don't. Because <laughs> he said he said you know people being quiet in the bed. We remember that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, I was that, no because you was like. Cause you shy. walked away Cause you was You walked away You said If a girl's quiet I done fucked the girl That like holding in everything And don't wanna make no noise uh, We would oh, definitely have to stop ain't making no but, noise Like fucking but, back but, but, but we it's, fucked You know if we kept fucking Like yeah they get more comfortable. I just told her Some girls are shy You don't stop and be no, like that's the same, you What right? I'm saying though Is like Completely If you If you Fucking somebody Casually And I know I know it feel good Cause I know the. I know How do you know it feels good I mean, said he got that lip no, I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> if they grab you or they should shake or whatever, no, like you know that's what I'm that's reaction though. That was, so maybe not necessarily quiet. But maybe that's the wrong word to use. But reaction, any kind. Of, if you ain't about I'm to be sitting there fucking no court, nobody that's being quiet here. Look, and you are, and and, 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 and and you are a heterosexual woman. Yeah. So so what I'm saying, what, like men, what I'm saying, like they fuck for ego. So females fuck for ego too. I mean, yeah. I, I mean. I know Sometimes. I, when I was in high school, like a chick that I used to fuck her in high school, she was fucking with one of the the little star basketball player at the school, and she said that she fucked dude, and dude got mad because they was like at a house party, and he fucked her, and he wasn't loud enough for her because he wanted everybody in the outside to hear that he was fucking her. Oh, he's a jerk. 
Oh man, that's some high school shit. Clown. I, I, I get it yeah. for for his age. I mean, he probably. I wouldn't put it past if he's still like it. He didn't get no pussy or nothing. He's cool that's, though. That's weird okay. behavior. Uh-huh. He's he's cool, but mm-hmm. that was weird. I'm like, I mean, that was kind of lame. Put in the that work was lame. That was making the motherfucker be loud or no? It's high school shit. I mean, you know, I think it was in there, Jack Rabbit. Yeah. Boy, you got somewhere to be because we can reschedule. Don't do that. <laughs> Yeah, don't don't, don't, don't say, do that. Don't do no, that. I'm not gonna say uh, who it exactly was. I say I'm just saying. <laughs> like, oh, no, I'm saying she might know who it is. That's what I'm saying. Oh, she might know who it is. The mics go off. Okay, yeah. I don't know. All right. So anyway, you gained you gained 35 pounds. He was about to ask 100. us something before I asked oh, my you. Bad. I don't recall. My bad. It was like 35, 40 minutes ago. Whoa. That was a long time. Yeah. Damn. 35 mm. percent of your body weight added to your body. Mm. So. Now, now you saying you insecure and shit? Yeah, I didn't. I now, mean, right now, yeah, even still, come now. on, not, not you, not you, who's just been. I'm a here human being. Thank these, you very much. Don't do that. Sh- no, yeah, I'm you can't. Still human. After all the shit you said, I'm still a human being. After all that I'm shit you said, I'm still a woman. Okay. I, all that shit you said, we broke. So, do you don't think people come with insecurities and flaws? Oh, definitely. Yeah, I'm, I have insecurities just like anybody else does. I you mean, can, I don't but let you them can run power me through down. Them. Exactly, you power through them. Yeah, I go through, it, but that don't mean I'd be like, "Ooh, girl, <laughs> <laughs> stomach sitting in your lap still." <laughs> we two years post baby, and we still got We're this still big here. ass belly. Oh, man. Yeah, it definitely, it definitely happens. It, you think about it, but it don't control you though, right? You still, you still be sending the news. <laughs> no, it, listen, I'd be like, <laughs> sucking in, sucking in, yeah, 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 yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with it, man. Ain't I mean, I see it. bigger girls, and they got all the confidence. Oh my goodness, I've seen you. You can see like, it's, but that's because it's, society tells you that it, being it's one thing being a big girl because mm-hmm. you're supposed to have rose. You're a big girl, mm-hmm. but being little. I With a belly and rose, that don't go. Nah, man. You That's, know niggas look at that? They're like, oh, she got kids. I mean, but niggas gonna take whatever I pull out. You feel me? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and that I do know. <laughs> Once some clothes come off in an intimate setting. Yeah, it's on. It's on. You know, this yeah. is what it is, little baby. You know, take it. I ain't had one say that he didn't want it. He's gonna definitely take it. And he's gonna enjoy it. He's gonna like it. He's gonna come back. Oh, wow. But if we just trying to look seductive, yeah. I don't got that. You ain't got the got seductive no, look? Not no more. I, I, I ain't got that no more. So you don't even try? I try. I, I feel like this is where, like, like if you, if you, especially if you involve with somebody and they already attracted to you you should still be you know giving them something to be attracted to i mean listen i try there you go okay. but All i right. don't be secure with it anymore like yeah uh, i know this one far when i know they gonna you need like a reaction you need the hard eyes and shit no back, I, the, that the still ain't gonna do it because be, he might be thinking in his head like it's a weak ass picture uh, <laughs> but i said it anyway because if i know somebody <laughs> else will hey <laughs> Never mind. What I'm not doing, another woman most certainly is going to jump at the occasion. I ain't touching that. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yes. Yeah. If you tell me that's what you wanted, that's what you like, yeah. if it's within my means, it's not one of my, you know, boundaries, yeah. it ain't, you know, exceeding my yeah. boundaries, then I'm going to do it. It is what it is. Damn, yeah, you, but you're right, though. I can't agree, but but I agree. I'm gonna get in trouble. I might get in trouble. Yeah, just hush. Okay, but you, but yeah, though, for real, like I, sim- simple, simple things. It's maybe not necessarily a requirement or a necessity, but it's like this is. I'm doing this for you. This is I'm, for you. Yeah, this here. is for Take you. Care. Definitely ain't for me because I'm all right. I'd rather not. Yeah, I, you'd rather <laughs> not. But you, you doing something you'd rather not do. But so appreciate it, nigga. So appreciate the efforts. That there's niggas my out belly. there. I'm gonna just put it out. There's niggas out there. Not me. Not me. Of course. Not you. But there's niggas out there that would appreciate something like that. They ain't, they don't get no shit like that. They don't get that. I mean, I know so um, it ain't me. Well, you know, hey, damn sure ain't me. Maybe have to get get with a woman that maybe they make her feel comfortable enough <laughs> doing that. Nigga, stupid. Jerk that. <laughs> Jerk that. Yeah. You want you want have that con- you want have this conversation to close it out. You can read it and we can talk about read it. Read it. Read it, Steve. No, we gonna, no, if I'm it, already posted it, it, that means... You want me to read it? I'll read it. Here. I mean, I'll read it. I was okay. showing you. She's staying, but she's staying on everything she say. And she didn't get, She gave her son his but own last name. We can, the most, we can discuss like, it. There's no we arguing with her. It. She's... Yeah. I'm, I ain't going to lie to you. I, I wasn't... I didn't know how to feel you out. For one, it's had, it had been a minute since he sent me some of your stuff. But when every time he does, like, man, we need to get home to podcast. Maybe good You thought I was crazy? I thought that you was going to be 
too radical. Too, too, maybe not, I don't want to, I almost want to say like, like, like a feminist, like kind of deal. No, no. I'm not. But feminist would be the wrong word, but like too radical and too hard on niggas. Oh, no. I just, I just, I hold them to a standard, like be a man at all times. I just thought it would Whatever be real. Whatever it is you doing, you just got to be a man about it. I thought it'd be real turbulent on our end because no, I mean I'm we cool. we only come with so much. We social we we level headed niggas. Man. We to, social media <laughs> doesn't allow me to give you every layer that I have, yeah. and you know social media is about perception. So perception. you can read one post and she she hates men. God, yeah, yeah. no, because I can't say every single thing I'm trying to say yeah, yeah, yeah. in this one little post. It'd How be, you feel about podcasting? Though you like it, I you know I really been thinking about you about to start doing you it. No, I'm probably not because I just don't know how to do it and uh, whatever. Come on now, Steve hiring. I mean, Steve not hiring, but he's he's for hire. Steve's for hire. Man. Okay, we're gonna look into. He it. hates doing this, but you, know, you do. He hates it. No, I hate <laughs> the after part of it. I like doing the podcast. Oh, okay, we okay. Yeah, I've been thinking about it. You should. You years. should. For, honestly, I mean, just sitting here talking to you for the time that we did, like you have very interesting and very strong uh, opinions that are not. Are we gonna discuss it? No, we can. We we oh, we okay. about to. We about to. I'm trying to talk you into doing a podcast first. I'm with it. You, I you, can be the female for y'all. Ooh. <laughs> y'all need me. <laughs> Damn. <Ooh. laughs> we can have. I'm. I'm. Uh. uh I don't. I wouldn't consider. I consider myself multi-dimensional, mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. we can't have the conversations that we had today every week. Duh. I, I don't have. No, I, no, no, no. What layers. I'm saying. What I'm saying is. What I'm saying is like. I yeah. You got layers. I got layers too. But I think our layers are kind of. You think so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have like. Sure? Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't know. Yeah, I'm not trying to sit next to somebody who wants a lead Mary week. Man, I'm start feeling insecure you about myself. <laughs> long as your fiance is all right with your six, you don't got nothing to worry about. <laughs> you don't got to worry about what I want, okay? Hey, cut that out. <laughs> Read the status. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and. Uh, so pretty much like the burn what she posted. She said, I don't like meeting guys via social media. She don't like meeting guys via social media. Mm-hmm. Okay, I already got a question, but go ahead. Uh, the first point you put was, uh, you probably got attracted to my pictures, and let me tell you, I don't look like that 90% of the time. You will be mad as fuck that you put me on a pedestal, and I look and I look, I look like, like, I and I look like the help. I am not I am not a sexy mother. I wear sweatpants, mismatched socks, t-shirts with holes, and bleach stains every day, and combing my hair happens only on the weekends. Mm. Two, you're fascinated by my wit and feistiness, thinking it's a social media act, and you can tame me, and, you, and would find, so, uh, find out, and soon find out that I'm dead serious. My expectations are high, and when they're not met, I'm not nice. Mm. Let's just meet organically. How's that? How you meet people? If you don't meet people... And t- today The B. Smith part and, I don't like meeting guys At the club either Okay Well sure. where do you meet people At church Walmart I don't go to church My family's Jehovah's Witness Okay Walmart. How you meet people then I don't You don't meet people It's It really be like On some It's random Like that shooting star When you know what The blue moon Y'all got me out the house Alright And now, I'm not saying, saying That you know I have met guys Via social media Because I definitely have Yeah uh, I just don't like it because I do feel like that it's either going to go one or two ways. You either done built me up to something that is unreasonable that I can't live up to. I'm not a bad bitch. Yeah. You look through my social media, I look like, no. Yeah. Okay. I No, I, I don't. I, I'm a how do, how do you feel, not know that, you. though? Because, like, like, you know, I follow you. And like you just said, you normally only post shit when you go out. Or you do photo shit and shoot, too, sometimes, yeah. though. But, like, yeah, I don't know how niggas can't. Tell that you like out in a social setting when you like, you know what I'm saying, dressed up. It it it, it, it don't matter. And a lot of things do matter. A lot I of like, yeah, think, it, I, and, and it's and it's and it's no knock. This is no knock to Meg at all, and I ain't trying to bring it to me. But I feel like at the time when me, I thought when when me and Meg first started talking, I think she thought that I was something that I wasn't because of social media. Yeah. To an extent. Like, oh, everybody knows him. And yeah. Da, 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 da. And it's not. She see now, like, I got two friends. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, if, if a guy it, it, follows me on like Instagram, 
my Instagram and my Facebook are two totally different. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. get two different sides of me. Yeah. And if you only follow me on Instagram, you think you're getting a bad bitch. Mm. Mm. What's your Instagram name? I'm about to. Lipstick I'll be the judge of that. And if you follow me on Facebook, then you get. She needs love. She's angry. She's a man. <laughs> yeah, I was scrolling through your page and I seen uh, I seen several times of. I ain't know. I, I mean, I would ask you off mic, but yeah, I guess chicks like really be like trying to clown you because you like a single mother and shit. They do they trying, trying to clown you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like she got statuses like that. You so, serious? Oh, when I had what my happened last to baby? uplifting each other? Yeah, that's bullshit. Um, <laughs> when I mean, even my first child, a lot of people like to say you got a baby. He didn't even want to claim your baby. Then I had another baby. He didn't want to claim your baby. You you a you single? Did, you sent me this. I forgot. This is single it's mother. Fish fry. My bad. Go ahead. Just you know, that's one thing that females do. They they put a lot of pressure on other females in regards to how a man treats them, and that's the reason why I decided I wanted a baby without the daddy. Because you can you can build you can be with a man for ten years and he turns out to be a shitty father. You can be with a you can be with a woman for ten years and she turns out to be a shitty mother. You can be with somebody for twenty years and y'all go y'all separate ways. And they treat you how you have never imagined being treated before, like shit, like you never meant nothing. Mm-hmm. So why can't I have my kids and just love my kids? Why do I have to love my kids based on the circumstances of a man? Because the man needs to be there and love their kids. Too. I definitely think that the man needs to be there and love their kids, too. But I'm going to tell you what. I am so secure with who I am that I wholeheartedly go to sleep at night believing that I can successfully raise good human beings without a man coming in this household that I can successfully raise good human beings. Can I raise a straight man? Maybe not. But would I rather my son be gay or would I rather my son be a drug dealer killing people? Mm -hmm. I'd much rather him be a fucking gay man Mm -hmm. because you can be a gay man and still be a good man. But, but you cannot be a good man selling drugs or killing people. My only, my only, my only thing with, with with what you're saying is where does the where does the father that that help bring the kids into the world like come into play? If he wants to be around, then I'm all for him being around. Like, if you don't want to be around, then a lot of a lot of girls miss loving their children properly and wholeheartedly because of the relationship failing with the father. I get that. I understand. My 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 thing is is you you almost sound like the perfect co-parent. The only thing is is where does where does the father get to? I, do I what do I get? Do I get Wednesday through Thursday? You get whatever day you want. You get whatever day you want. You get as long as you are respectful. Mm-hmm. I don't care. Mm-hmm. Like I told you, the second one doesn't barely do anything, but we don't have no beef. Mm-hmm. And once he realized it ain't no beef, we ain't got ain't no, the relationship didn't work out, and he did some terrible things to me. But the relationship and us raising this child ain't the That's two, two different, it's things, two different right? situations. Yeah. Do I ever want to revisit a relationship with you? I absolutely do not. Mm-hmm. But what's up, homie? Yeah, yeah. Look yeah. at your damn son. Right. Acting a fool. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can come get his son whenever he wants to. That's the that's that's the only or thing. not the 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 medium that's never been defined. No, nah, she sounds like a dope ass. Baby. I just that's, don't. That's what I say. The <laughs> medium the that's never been defined would is tell a, you something different. But the where the first one went wrong is he's disrespectful. Mm-hmm. You ain't gonna be talking half ass crazy to me because I don't owe you shit. Mm-hmm. I didn't do this to you. Like you said, you didn't do this to me. This is what it is. That's so what we is. can either spend the next eighteen years going to war, or we can spend the next eighteen years. Look at your daughter. Mm-hmm. About to get shit smacked out of her. You mm-hmm. better come get your daughter. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? But you pick You pick how I treat you. Yeah. Because if you don't treat me right, I won't treat you right. And I'm a beast. I'm a dog and, when I'm mad. And unfortunately, the way the shit's set up, you also, you're a woman. <laughs> you can really shit on a nigga. Yeah, and, and I'm a woman. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, yeah. What, what I will not allow you to do is just treat me. However you feel about me is mm-hmm. your business, and I can't change that. But you're going to treat me how I require for you to treat me, or you're going to meet the other me. Mm-hmm. And that's who he's gotten for the last 11 years. If you ask him, I'm Damn, the worst person in time. the world. But I'm really the coolest bitch in it. Mm-hmm. I don't want no smoke. I'm mm-hmm. unproblematic. But if you crossing over into my territory, if you affected me, affected me affects how I raise my kids. Yeah. I can't be the best me if you tearing me down. Mm-hmm. If every interaction with you... 
it's a fight, it's a struggle, it's mm-hmm. a you want to take custody or you want to do uh, this if you're doing that. I can't be the best me. Right. And I really had to get to that place with with my second baby. I said, you know, I done spent thousands of dollars on keeping custody of a child that I have taken care of from day one. <laughs> that me, when you don't went off and did what you wanted to do or the times that you don't want to do nothing, you ain't done nothing. Mm-hmm. And now I got to pay to keep mine. Yeah. How you think I'm, it makes me feel? <sighs> but I had to realize that I got to let that go mm-hmm. because if I dwell on that and let that affect me that's affecting i got a whole nother child that needs me mm-hmm. to be the best that i can be and so don't I let him look like his daddy and that, <laughs> both of them ugly ass kids look like they daddy i'm like oh and you ugly just like your daddy <laughs> but i lay down at night and i and i'm okay and and i pray about it and as long as i stay focused and genuine mm-hmm. that my intentions is all about being the best mother that i can be for my kids, every single thing in this world gonna fall into place because mm-hmm. my heart is pure. Mm-hmm. I'm in it for my kids because I ain't have no mama. I ain't have no daddy. Yeah. I slept on a floor mm. where a woman got killed in blood. Oh shit! I slept in the car when I was pregnant with my daughter. Damn. So I'm dedicated to my children. Mm-hmm. Anything outside of that, and a lot of men. I ain't gonna say a lot of men. I may, let me not say that. Because I ain't one of them. Not you. I'm just but playing. I do think that. Uh, one of the reasons why I'm okay with doing it without a man is because I ain't met neither one of them that was as dedicated as me. That's yeah. Eh? I don't lay down at night knowing that when my child's at your house, that you she's not of, that man. she's not being fed emotionally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you might feed her, but is she going to sleep sad because you don't let whoop de whoop do whoop de whoop to her mm-hmm. and say this and you not advocating for her? Yeah. And and what about my daughter's at your house and she's sleeping knowing you didn't want her? How you think it make my daughter feel? Who going to advocate for her? I got to advocate for her mm-hmm. because all those self-esteem problems, they come back to me. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Yeah. It ain't just I want to wake up and be a bitch. No, I think you need to, you know, you need to fix your relationship with your daughter. I can't tell you how to fix it. I just know you need to. You're not as dedicated as I am. So that's why I go so hard in the pain. You ain't got the same dedication. Yeah, you say you love her, but you don't got the dedication. Plenty of love is nothing. God damn. Damn, damn, damn. I, lo- I loved my old body, but I wasn't dedicated to keeping it. Mm, <laughs> one of the babies busted Damn. off up in you. <laughs> Shot the club, but bust that baby all up, <laughs> up in me. So, got hey. me fat. <laughs> Fuck so, you. so you said so. So I like what you said about the status, the like the realness of the uh, the social media thing, mm-hmm. because you spoke uh, like you know on your end of it. Yeah. Like not even the you giving me something fake which mm-hmm. nine times out of ten especially dealing with niggas probably eleven times out of ten you gonna get something fake from a nigga too right yeah I don't pay attention to niggas social media no I mean you know be but, but, like but, a yeah 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 but you but you ain't even but the, the honest thing about that status though is that you didn't even touch on, on on that end of it you're just talking about you you know what I'm saying yeah I just do you, for do you at least do you at least get the nigga to fly fit that they see on IG on the first date yeah you don't give them the bleach stains and, and no. the t-shirts with the holes in it mm-hmm. until when when they get that, when they move I in? I mean, now move in. Oh, shit. See, oh, she on Ooh. that. Look, niggas Whoa, is homeless. That, do they get to come in? That's the what? biggest question. I fuck outside, baby. You f- Outside in the car. That's true. Because my kids don't know I be fucking. Oh, I, I understand so that. So my, my daughter doesn't know that her mother be fucking. All right. So I got to come back in and be a mama. Yeah. Uh-huh. Wow. So that's how it goes down. Come in there. Because I'm dedicated <laughs> to the image that I present to my children. Yeah. Coming in there jelly-legged. <laughs> Okay, I don't know about all that. That's that's different, you know. Go take a shower, you know, and get yourself. No, together. no, you talking about your legs, man. Talking about you, yeah, co- like, you coming in yeah, there, wobble, yeah, yeah, barely wobble. wobble. Yeah, so, um, no, that's not how you do that. Give me that math. Give me that math. They FaceTime me. I'm I'm dusty. I work at home. They huh? FaceTime me. I ain't oh. cute. Sure. Boy, I was scared of that. I got my kids FaceTime after the session. T-shirt on, and that's what they get. That's who I am. All right, that's dope. So then, so so they don't get the they don't get the the if they take me out. Okay, you don't take me out. You're not getting that. The hell. Okay, all right. right. This is for people who's taking me out. Mm, Got you. Otherwise, you're gonna get my sweatpants. Mix match socks, and you don't mind doing that either. I don't baby. care. Don't this mind. is who I am because if you because a lot of girls they want to get dressed them. up, and if you're not asking them to go somewhere with you, then they not messing. They not messing with the idea of being around you at all. So you so you do bleach stain t shirt. Oh yeah, we are we Netflixing? Okay, then. yeah, I'm, I'm definitely with it. I'm okay. definitely with it. Okay. 
Because, you know, do you, is your fiance looking like a movie star every day? No. Okay, that's unrealistic. I don't want to give you an unrealistic expectation of me. Like, guess what you thought I was going to be doing every day? <laughs> I got kids to take care of. I got laundry. I got to cook dinner for the kids. I got to yeah. take her to cheerlead and dance team. This child is running around getting into everything. Mm-hmm. What do you think I'm looking like every day? Oh, uh, yeah. It's, 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 you can't uphold an image, right? I can't. Yeah. I'm not going to try to. I feel like that's probably like the basis of this whole episode is upholding the image. Upholding the image. That's mm. There you go. You didn't say much. I mean, when he get going, he goes. God he goes. damn it! It's always my fault. <laughs> it's, it's, always my it's, fault. Uh, it's us. We long winded. No, nah, it was you. He gonna okay. say I got going. Nah, he's you a conversationalist, he so he gonna he gonna jump in. I got like nigga, we gonna listen to this back and be like, damn, nigga, we stayed on that topic for two minutes. That's a long time. <laughs> nah, no, it's, oh. it's, no, it's no time. It's no time. Oh, okay. It's no time. I, sorry. <laughs> No, nah, it's just how it go. Like he'll get into the conversation. It was dope, though. I had fun. I thought it was dope. It's good. It's good. Y'all good. Y'all good in my book. You had oh, fun? for real? You coming back? Yeah. For real? Mm-hmm. Okay. Y'all That's didn't dope. give me a heads up on the topic. Ain't we no. Have none. We had no topics. Next time. We we. How did you? How do you think? What this are those went? topics you think that I'm so far over here? Oh no, those are your Facebook statuses. You want us to come in here with a list of your Facebook statuses and we talk about every single one no. of them? <laughs> Something about coming in with topics. Like, no, you we don't, said next that time. our worlds are way. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. We are two totally different people. <laughs> yeah, we are. I, I can tell just from this. From this, like we talked about a lot of things. I'm not comfortable with talking about for real. That's because you're on. That's because he's in a relationship. I have, I have. There's literally uh, shit that I done bought up, and you be like, oh, I'm staying away from this. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm, like only because you're in a, only because you're in a relationship. Yeah, but I'm and, and sometimes, guys. sometimes some shit just hit too close to home. Like she talk, we talking about baby mama, baby father shit. I don't like talking about that shit. I, don't I, don't like talking I about hate that. it. I wish it would all go away. Girl, I swear to God. You dropped all them gems and you hate it. I just want to, I do hate it. She I hate it all. She was on her She was spitting, dog. <laughs> she spitting this nigga, you, you blame me. Like, nah, she was on her I was just, I nigga, I was just listening. I'm like, this is what you got to look forward I'm to. I'm like, I like her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she, yeah, you killed it though. You killed it. Well, but of course, we'll we'll do a we'll we'll bring you back and we'll let's let's get into some some something else. Yeah. Uh, because I mean, uh, majority of this shit when we bring women on, it's kind of you know uh, in jest, mm-hmm. but we bring women on and we troll about like it's kind of a battle of the sex kind of deal, right? But you you too much. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, wait. <laughs> not not in an offensive way. Like we ain't got that for you. Most of the time, he's on the woman's side. Yeah, I'm yeah, getting yeah. ganged up on. I'm trying to. I'm trying to be more aware of that. Wild. He's wild. You oh, you can not, say. Uh, now I'm jumping you. Now now I'm going to jump a little bit. You don't listen to the podcast probably, but but dude, let me tell you, man. Like he's yeah, he's go got some very listen. strong. He's got some. He's got some very strong opinions. It's just not. Can you right. just tell me real fast one strong opinion? Just I just want to hear because you haven't said anything. What's wrong opinion I got? He said he wants a woman to be a woman. What does that mean? When so you say you when you say you want a woman to be a woman, Let's what does that mean? Let's get into that. Well, we about uh, to get up out of here. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta, we gotta, Even gotta, off of here, we gotta I really want to know. His, Steve his segment though. You got to give him a segment on my own show. <laughs> uh, What's a woman on, on, on episode? I think it was 51, 52. TJ and Ryan was on here. He's like, women just don't want to be women. And Such Ryan said, what, what, what does that, that mean? mean? Uh, nurturing, caring, yeah, uh, submissive. Mm. Oh, you want to talk about this off the <laughs> off the mic, or you no. want to talk about it now? We can. We here now. <laughs> we here. Like I got. To, I got. What, uh, what you don't that? see. What, you don't come off that, as submissive. What was that a long time ago, bro? Where it was like I said, women are emotional creatures. And, yeah, and breathe. And they was like, no, we not. Brie. Absolutely, they are. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck? Yes, y'all are. Yeah. Like, I was like, naturally. But men are emotional naturally. creatures, too. You just have been mm-hmm. trained sure. and programmed. Yeah. Sure to yeah, we, we had a whole week, a, a we, couple we, weeks. We train not to show emotion. Absolutely. Like when you're a kid, when you got a little boy, Stop you're like, crying. you're crying, mm-hmm. you're being mm-hmm. soft, all that mm-hmm. shit. Yeah. yeah. Is that that's, right that's what I was saying. You said, is it right or wrong? Yeah. It's just, I don't know. I just think it's what it, like it's a tradition, like we were just talking about earlier. It is what it is. Okay, so this thing about women not being women. Women. Nurturing. Ooh, that was that was ooh, that was. <laughs> it's spicy, ain't it? It's a, it's a hot don't take. Want to be a woman. I'm gonna say for myself and a lot of the women that I know, it's hard for me 
to be submissive when you're not giving me anything to submit to? Six. In order for me to submit to a man and follow a man, he has to be a leader. And I've never had a man lead me. Mm -hmm. I've always had to lead. I've always had to pay the bills. It costs to be the boss. What? Period. So, so you think you, a man should pay all the bills? Um, I'm not going to say a man should pay That's all the bills. That's a strong opinion of mine. I'm, I, don't, I don't believe in that. I'm they, not saying a man should pay all the bills. You. However, however, if the man does not pay all the bills, then we are in a partnership. Then my voice is just as loud as yours. I thought. I thought. My, I but, thought when you with somebody, it's, that's what it was. It was a partnership. It should always I thought be it's a supposed partnership. to be a partnership. It should always be a partnership. I thought y'all supposed to be making each other better who, as partners. But you got a lot of people who are picking and choosing the things that they want to be um, partners on. Like, no, I'm the man. I'm the man. Because you saying a man uh, for a woman to be a woman, a man is supposed to be those things as as well. I mean, a man is supposed man. to be submissive. A man is supposed to be a man, and a Ooh. good man has let his guard down and he's submissive. And he's nurturing because shows emotion. Shows emotion, and because when you love me good, I'm gonna love you better. And that's the type of woman that I am. Like I meet guys, and I am a uh, my baby. What do you need? I cooked. I can do this. You need your balls rubbed. Whatever it is that you need, <laughs> I got you. But I'm gonna tell you what: the minute you start fucking up. You're going to start chipping away at that submissiveness and my wall goes back up and now you can't get shit out of me. Don't set that expectation, but, man. But what's up? Nobody's nobody's who they really are on the, on no, the first, no, 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 first no, no. meet. No, I don't have time for that. Be who uh, you are. Be who you are, period. I'm always no, who I am. No, no I'm you're a not. Lover. Yes, I no, am. You're not. I'm you a lover. You're rubbing balls and don't know if the nigga, you don't know if you're getting the first impression right or not. And now, Why, now, rubbing balls is not a hard task. Now, now, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you out here rubbing balls and then the nigga gets comfortable. And, and it kind of loses. But guess what? I'm rubbing your balls and you getting comfortable the same way you're being nice to me and I'm getting comfortable. If you take away, you fucking treat me a certain type of way, I'm going to take away how I'm treating you a certain type of way. It's but get we, and take. But we come in this motherfucker with, with I have to give this impression. Why? To, then, okay, and, then and, don't. And the, and the impression. Don't. We are unaware. I know for a fact I am unaware of me not being the same person I was at the beginning of something. I, I feel like I'm Why? still the same. Why? That's, that's but where communication I get, but I, comes I'm, in I'm, I'm still the same. When you start changing, you owe it to yourself and to that person to communicate that I'm changing. I don't know that I'm changing, though. Oh, I, because you no, need to be... Because I'm giving, I'm giving the first I'm giving the first now, impression. Now, you don't know you changing. That's dangerous. Nah, man. I'm, I'm, I'm out here giving the first impression. Everybody's done it. No, you Everybody's shouldn't, done though. it. We're in our thirties. You're in our thirties. Nah, I ain't you giving my not first impressions in my thirties. It's over that. for the first impressions. You feel me? Man. I'm engaged. That's what man. I'm saying. Okay, you are not Steve, engaged. Steve's You're single. single. So what I'm saying is this. You're gonna give a first impression. You want nigga. a woman you know to be a are. woman. How you saying you want a woman to be a woman but don't want a relationship? You want your cake and eat it too. Nah, man. You who want said something. I, who said I didn't want a relationship? You already told me that. I said I didn't I told you what I told her, that girl. Oh, you want one now? I would if it was if it's right, the right you either want one or you don't. You either want one or you don't. I'm no. saying I would. You want you want he, one or you do not. That's not that's not a fact. Niggas no, why, get horny. Why would I you go into? I'm not you talking can, about sex. I'm not no, talking no, no. about because sex you, because you can want something casual. And it just be casual and you can see it not going nowhere or you could want a relationship. What do you and want for yourself right now? Do you just want to be fucking around or are you ready to be in a relationship? I'm it's not a gray right area. I'm on my purpose right now. <laughs> see, that, like that right there like is that. how you get into gray area situations. Mm -hmm. That's how you get into situations where there, it has no purpose. The situation don't have no I'm purpose. It don't have no direction because you're not being upfront and honest about what you want, either with yourself or with the other I person. No, nah, he, he but he could be. Why can't? Steve why do we got to talk about it? If I don't, I you don't, definitely everything has to be discussed. Why can't? Why can't no, Steve? I've been kicked it with chicks, and I ain't said we. Ain't t she enjoyed herself. We fucked. I ain't, ain't said nothing. So that's what it and was. We keep doing it. Okay, D recipe then they for get, disaster. Then they get feelings because that's a recipe for disaster. That's that gray area that no. I keep talking to you about. That's that gray area. That's that gray area when you're doing relationship shit. 
If Steve, I feel like I, I can't speak for you, oh, Steve. You know I can't speak for you. We if a single brother sees something that he wants that that he wants to build something with, that he's gonna go build. He's gonna go build something. I ain't seen nothing. But hold on, and you have try, to go with purpose. Everything is intentional. God is an intentional God. Everything is intentional. Nothing is by chance. Touch me and said God is intentional. God is intentional. She don't know me very well. You don't believe in God? Huh? What? Oh, you don't. So what I'm saying is, everything is intentional. Everything in life is intentional. Everything happens because something happened prior to mm -hmm. and you have to go forward in every single thing that you do with intent and it, it can be i'm just gonna fuck her and that's, that's the, the intention intent. and it's fine it's fine but you, you can owe it to yourself unless you like mess unless you like mess and unless you like confusion you go into every situation keeping it 100 1000 i got guys on my line right now that listen baby you're not never gonna touch me Never. Now, if you want to give me some money, you most certainly can. If you want to take me on some dates, you most certainly can. But you're never going to touch me. Don't tell that's, niggas that. That's intentional. Yeah. And guess what? Once I did that, I don't got everything else. The file's going to be what it is because I didn't lie to you. Yeah, but niggas but see I that as But I also got guys that I'm like, I really want to try to be in a relationship. Niggas see that as but an But you're not going to bring that up the first, so the first. So if you fuck a nigga the first time y'all together, there's no, what, what conversations are you having? <laughs> Well, what conversations are supposed to be people had? We definitely can fuck the first time they hang out. What I'm saying is, after that, if y'all gonna keep in touch, keep in contact, there needs to be a conversation. There definitely needs to be a conversation. Even though I feel like me at 36 years old, I ain't slow. You can tell what a person's intentions, intentions they are. are. Yeah. But a lot of females, and I'm just gonna keep it real, they slow. They, they slow. They they, they slow. They, they thinking with something else. Yeah, They're they not I, we all eat lies when our hearts, when our hearts are hungry. Mm -hmm. So Ooh, that's a bar. We all, all right. do that. You so back, what man. they craving something? <laughs> so you need what to they back, craving? Man. They're getting out of you without intent. You ain't told them that's what you gonna give them. You ain't told them it's gonna be nothing. But girl, we did this, and girl, that's my baby. And then we went over here, and then I was hanging out with his sister. And girl, shut up. He's just fucking on you. Mm -hmm. Let him let her sit in the car while he go deliver the pack. Yeah, <laughs> shit, dumb shit, dumb shit. And you think that's your boo? He put your whole life on the line, bitch. He don't give a damn about you. That nigga still Stop fuck. It. That nigga still fuck his baby mama. And that nigga still fucking his own, fucking on his baby mama. Stop it. But they don't think that far. I think that's an unwritten rule. I think every D boy still fucks their baby mama. That's See why I don't like niggas. They said, they said that's a. See why I don't like niggas. It's called a coochie credit. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to talk. Okay, I don't be touching my baby's daddies. Neither one of them. Coochie credit card. Not I mean, neither one. Not, no, we're not doing that. We're not going to blur the lines, baby. Because okay. that's dangerous. The baby mama, baby daddy relationship, they still fucking woo. With the understanding? Adults can't Ain't, fuck? I don't, think that a, I don't think that... I don't think a baby mama and a baby daddy can fuck without it getting going haywire. It's going to go crazy. I know of a, a lady. I can't talk about it. I know mm -hmm. of a lady who said that she was fucking her baby daddy still because... It was safe. But guess what? As in, as in, I ain't about to be out here fucking random people. I know who I'm fucking. Something about having a baby with people, especially if you have history with the person you got a baby by. Having a baby with somebody. You know, I had both of my kids in the hospital alone. Mm. Without the father. The first yeah, one, the yeah. father wasn't there. The second one, nobody was in the room. Damn. I intentionally did not call him when I had my baby. Mm. Intent. Not to hurt you, intent for myself. Because there's a certain emotion that's tied in that situation. Yeah. That I don't want to share with you. Oh, come on, man. You being selfish. I'm not being selfish. Nah, nah. I have other reasons that we the, can discuss the motion, later. The emotion, the emotion is, is, is tied, yeah, between y'all, between you and the baby, and between him and the baby. It, but these two people, you talking about people that's not in the situation I'm in, not like, oh, I'm just going to go have a baby. Mm -hmm. That people have real relationships and they're bringing kids into these okay. real relationships. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You mean to tell me y'all can just cut all that off and just be fucking on each other? Now, wow. one person might be all right, usually the man. You, I'm not going to say usually the man because, boy, when no. they find out somebody fucking on their baby mama, woo, Ain't no it's, going war. Back from that, man. it's war. It's war. But one of those people in that equation subconsciously is still emotionally tied and are using sex to keep a connection mm -hmm. one or two yeah it's not ever just sex damn okay i, can't I don't disagree. know that anything that two people are having sex the intimacy on having sex with somebody i don't know if it's ever 
ever going to be strictly platonic over over a long period of time. Somebody is somebody's going to catch a feeling. Somebody's going to catch a feeling. Yeah. I am a believer in sex. If it's, if it's not going to go anywhere, you need to do it three times. Anything over three times is a habit. Habits are hard to break. Three is, three is a good number. Three is enough times for you getting that pussy, get, have a good time. And it, and it, ain't new, it ain't new no more. It ain't new no more. <laughs> it's time to get a new one. <laughs> three times is all you need. You don't got no feelings in three times. Bam, bam, bam. You know, had a good time. All right, it's time to move around. Yeah. Okay. Or it's going to start getting flaky. It makes sense. What you think about that, Steve? Three Is three enough? For ca- like you casually like you if you casually dating and you have you casually having relations, you, three good, four start getting a little murky from your experience. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Well, that makes sense, right? I think three is the perfect number. Anything over number. three times is is tricky. That's good. You know it. Especially at third time. Third time might be fire too. Yeah, third time is gonna be fire, and that's when it's time to get the fuck up out of there. <laughs> but that also makes it the hardest time yeah, to get the like, fuck up out of there. But I just need one more for the road. <laughs> <laughs> I know how it goes, but after that, I'm telling you, after three times is when she starts planning a life with you. Mm, damn. <laughs> Planning a life with you. Yeah. Unless you hit it and dip on out of there. What I tell you, don't spend the night. Mm-hmm. Don't send no good morning text. Don't go out to eat. Don't do none of that. Don't tell her how your day went. Don't ask her how her fucking day went. Ask her if she's available to I fuck. like going out to eat. Damn. Go out to eat with your boys, bro. <laughs> My niggas got kids and families. Okay, and shit. We bring the kids and the family. We all going to eat. I want to be able to talk to my nigga freely. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm sure he can get away. Yeah. Unless he he's tied down. He ain't tried. And they only get away on Sundays. We do the podcast. So you go back home. Yeah. For the most part. Well, that's, I mean, if we set something up in event. Well, that, yeah. If you set something up in event. You know events, how it is when yeah, having having kids. Yeah, I you can't just kids. you know. I can't, tell you, you, can't, I'm busy. you can't you can't tell me today that you want to do something tomorrow. Tell me, can, hey man, you want to go? Hey, you can't even spot tell me today you that you want to do something next Friday because I'm probably not going to be able to do it. Yeah, yeah. it's just you know. Here's well, what it is. You better get you some take us home, dog. All right, two hours. Well, you want to plug your shit? You yes, we need you to. I'm pl- straight. No, nah, plug something. Mm-hmm. You don't care about I'm followers or none of that. Plug. Like, cool. De- wow. We appreciate you wow. coming through. It was fun. It was fun. Se- very selfless. Very. Uh, I enjoyed you guys. Very um, um, self aware. <laughs> that's, that's so. That that's, shit was sexy. I didn't want to say it because I'm in a relationship. <laughs> yeah, you know, I love my woman. I love my woman, but but self awareness. Hey, f- self awareness is attractive to niggas. Like niggas do like self awareness no because it's intimidating at the same time. It's well, like Fifi. You like see Fifi because she's self aware. Mm-hmm. Fifi self aware, and that's that's where it stops. <laughs> <laughs> she she thinks that there's somebody out there that's like her. That's her problem. We, we'll tell her when she come back. I, I mean, I'd have told her that before though, but it's all good. But anyway, that's the homie. But anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. We enjoyed you coming through. You, you really don't want to plug anything. Plug mm-hmm. something. Come on. I don't buddy. Got nothing. You don't do anything. Oh, you ain't got no. I do, but I don't want to plug it. What? Why? I'm good. Come on. It's good, bro. I'm that's good. Just... Let her rock. Listen, let me tell you something. In order for in order for our generation to retire, I'll be comfort- back. By the time I'll be back. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'll All be right. ready. I'm just. I'm, let me just leave you with this little 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 tidbit. Uh, in order for our gener- generation to re- retire comfortably, like we have to do something on the side of our regular nine to fives. Absolutely. That's that's. It's working. A fact. It's brewing. You see me. Okay. You watch my story. Yeah. She. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's coming. So good. 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 So you know. Until next time then, right? Absolutely. All right, all right, all right. As always, make sure you follow the podcast page on all the social medias. That is new pod flow underscore pod on Twitter, new pod flow podcast on Instagram, and you can also search new pod flow on Facebook. Make sure that you like, subscribe, rate, leave reviews, and all that good stuff on the DSP, specifically Apple, iTunes, uh, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeart Media, iHeart Radio, iHeart Radio, YouTube, and Stitcher, all that good stuff. And as always, do the Lord's work. That's right. Do the Lord's work. Tell a friend, tell a friend about the podcast, man. Tell your baby daddy about the podcast. Okay. You up you going picking your kid up? You picking your kid up? Play the podcast on the way to pick your kid up. That's some good cat. That's good cat. That's good that, bro. What the fuck was that? <laughs> yeah, that was scary. Every week when I try to close the fucking, I, bro, the fucking is that ass getting clapped? What was that? Was that porn? No, nigga. He said.
That's some good cap. That's, That's some good, good cap. cap. That's good cap. Oh, okay. oh. I heard the clap and I didn't yeah. know what was going on. It's the fucking touchpad sensitive. It was just on there and I. Oh, uh, okay. Well, tell, tell a friend, tell a friend about the podcast, episode 90. We gone. What you over fucking giggling at, dog? New, 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 new